Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our D&D one-shot of Death House. I'm very excited. I have a new crew here on my stream that I've not actually played D&D with on stream before. So this is very exciting. Oh, God. I hear myself. Oh, someone's echoing. You. No, it's me. You're good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Whoops. is it something on my end? So there's been there a is, lot of... I've yeah. Technical, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. I've um, been doing a lot of new technical things tonight, uh, just for an FYI for everybody on stream. So, uh, like, even right now, I feel like the audio sounds really loud, so I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Um, so, everything's gonna be new tonight. So, anybody in chat, if there's ever any technical things that happen, feel free to let me know and we will adjust accordingly and just kind of play it as we go um but yeah so uh we are going to be playing uh one uh one shot of death house tonight uh this crew that i'm playing with tonight is normally we would be playing uh our own campaign dm'd by george on friday nights uh we play in a noble campaign that i've talked about a few times on stream before so we usually play on friday nights uh but because halloween is next week and i really wanted to run death house again uh, I reached out to everybody who's like, hey, who wants to play? And everybody said yes, so I am excited. Well, we have almost everybody from our crew. Uh, Chris, a.k.a. Mecha Amigo in chat, uh, also plays with us on Fridays, uh, but he'll be hanging out in chat, and uh, George, our DM, will probably also be hanging out a bit. But figured we'd give him a break for a week so he could chill, watch some D&D, while he prepares George for our session. Break. Yeah, he does deserve yeah. a break, to be honest. <laughs> being Isn't a DM is hard. campaigns or something? Yeah, yeah. Being being a DM is hard. The, this brings joy to the DM's ears. Yes, George George approves <laughs> of, of us uh, Tell playing George tonight. no kill us. <laughs> so, oh, and Adam's here, who we also sometimes play with on Friday nights. Hi, so, yeah, we got we got our crew here in chat, everybody. This is the, mm -hmm. uh, the Corsair D&D crew. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be playing one, uh, I keep saying one shot. We're going to be playing Death House. Um, we may break this up into two sessions because I, if you guys remember, I ran Death House last year and it took about two, four hour sessions to get through the whole thing. I expect it to be about the same for this one. Uh, we're just kind of going to just take it as we go. And if we decide to kind of cut it short, we may, uh, continue our one shot tomorrow night. Um, so this may be a two-part one-shot. Um, and I'm thinking of any other housekeeping things that I wanted to talk about before we get started. Uh, my overlay, I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit here. Uh, you guys have to let me know how the overlay is because, uh, I, yeah. Everything's all new and it's really exciting. Um, so, uh, to talk a little bit about what we're using for tonight, um, we're using a mixture of things because a lot of people always ask, uh, like how we run our D&D campaigns online. Uh, we use a mixture of things that's kind of, it, it takes a little to set up, but once you get it rolling, it's pretty seamless. Uh, we use Discord for audio and we use Zoom for video. Just because the Discord audio quality, you can adjust everybody's audio, which is a lot easier than Zoom, which you can't, you know, adjust individual audios. And uh, the Zoom video quality is kind of a bit better than Discord. Uh, for the music, we are going to be using Sirenscape tonight. This is my first time using Sirenscape. I have been always interested in trying it out, and they have a very specific Curse of Strahd um, uh, pack that you can buy for uh, Sirenscape, and it's got like all the perfect audio for Death House and Curse of Strahd in general. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be using tonight for the audio. Um, You'll also notice that we have everybody's characters, their little character portraits next to their cameras. Those characters are made through Hero Forge, which is an amazing site that you all should check out if you don't already know about it. You can create miniatures for your uh, TTRPG characters and you can now color them as well, which is really nice. Uh, you used to not be able to, to color them in, but now it's, it's open to the public where you can actually add color to your miniatures, which is great. And you can order them and get actual miniatures. I have my Philavandra right here, and she's great. Uh, I ordered the color one, she's awesome. Um, and yeah, so we use D&D &D Beyond for the character sheet. 
and then we use Roll20 for all of the maps and dice rolls that you see. And we use a plugin called Beyond20, so all of our rolls transfer from D&D Beyond into Roll20. So that's everything that we're using for tonight, uh, in case anybody's interested in how we're running all of this production. Uh, I have some crackles in my voice. Oh, that's unfortunate. Do you guys hear that? Uh, I think a crackle, crackle, little crackle, crackle. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, just yeah. a very little bit. No! This happens sometimes, and I don't know why. Uh. So are you using an Elgato be... Wave Three? I am not. I, look like one. I should be. <laughs> um, this happens sometimes on my VTM stream too, where it crackles. Uh. Is it maybe the connection to your uh, your focus right? I think it is. Um, I think that the connection is has issues occasionally, but then it fixes itself. So does it still sound crackly? Crackle, 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 crackle. Like, hello, hello, it's hello. It's very hello. slight, but it's still there. Oh, most hello, of hello, the hello. Time. Turn it, it off. Better and than it was. This turn morning. it back on. Hold on. Have you tried turning it off and on again? It's the classic IT. Okay, I'm going to talk, and if it sounds crackly, let me know. If it doesn't sound crackly, don't let me know. I don't know if that's that. I've I've heard this is what we've we've talked about this. Okay, it sounds better. Yeah. Make sure you're not peeking. I think I peeked a little bit there. Sounds pretty good right now. Okay, good. Yeah. So let me know if that ever happens again. I I've I've noticed I'm using a Focusrite Scarlet Three, and it does have issues sometimes. Yeah, uh, you're right to be, and I think that's probably what it is. But we'll see how it goes. Um. Okay. So, uh, I think that's all of the housekeeping stuff that I wanted to go over. Um, so before we jump into the session, uh, I figured I would have everybody introduce yourselves and your character. So if we want to go around and you guys say hi, your name, and who your character is, and maybe just quickly describe your character that you're playing tonight for oh. our one shot. Who wants to go first? Should we roll a d4? <laughs> Roll a d4, all of you. Oh no. Wait, like really? I don't yeah. know. Unless I'll somebody go. wants to go first. Go um, this is our first Making roll of the it. night. It's a good start. We're, we're making you. Whoever rolls you a four. Already. We can also make sure that uh, it works, so. Yes. It does work. Yeah. Oh, four. Okay. Oh, I guess it's you. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, Andrew, you go first. Uh, so my name's Andrew. Uh, I work at Corsair Tracy and Vanessa, I guess, to a certain extent, and Frank. Um, and I do noble campaign with these guys on Fridays. Uh, I'm still fairly new to, to D&D, but I'm having a, fun, a ton, of, ton of fun with these guys. And I'm excited to play Law, Martial Law, uh, one half of a... <laughs> investigative agency duo uh with my 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 partner um who will introduce himself shortly and uh i'm gonna have some fun role-playing hard-boiled detective you know uh and hopefully i'll have some fun with it yeah i'll go next then um so i guess uh yeah my name is Bijan. i am playing or dare the half orc paladin uh i'm the only one that doesn't work with all of these other people i just <laughs> happen to know them and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing tonight. Um, I'll go next. I'm Vanessa, also known as Helvetic Cat. Um, I work with these people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be playing. I'm, I'm actually on the Elgato team, but Corsair, Elgato, all the same. Uh, I'm going to be playing a tiefling sorcerer named Viola. And um, she's a little pompous, a little arrogant. And uh, we'll, see if, uh, we'll see how her roles do tonight. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, I'm Frank. I work in esports at Corsair, also known as Miri. Uh, I play in Noble Campaign with all of these wonderful people, uh, where I play a very charismatic playboy bard. Uh, tonight, however, I'm going to be playing as a pretty aloof uh, shifter feline monk named Zendaka. Uh, he's just looking for his dad, you know, he went out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. Someone told me he was in the Shadowfell, so I thought I would come by and see him. 
And uh, we'll see if I get into any trouble tonight. Probably. <laughs> Very likely, yes. Um, nah. I also just wanted to see how everybody's audio sounded um, from a viewer perspective. Chris says it sounds fine, so that's good. For me, Vanessa sounded a little low, so I turned her up a bit. So, yeah, uh, if anybody in chat just, just quiet in general. Just let me know if anybody sounds really quiet and I'll turn them up as best I can. Okay. Alrighty. But with that, let's get started. We're all gonna die. Roll initiative. Everybody, roll initiative. Roll let's initiative. Go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's, just, let's just roll our death saving throws right now. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got my first death saving throw. D20. <laughs> also, do I sound crackly again? Or no? Actually, right now you sound fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. So our story begins with four unexpected and uncanny individuals. Four of them brought to a place for several different reasons, but they all belong here together at this same moment in time. Is it fate, the four of these adventurers, that they would be brought here together? Or is there something else at play? A reason, a design, a machination? The land of Barovia. Not much is known about this place from the outside world. Sure, there are talks of myths and legends. But not many are seen on the Sword Coast, or all of Faerun, for that matter. Not many are seen to hail from this place. Not much is truly known about Barovia. But our four here find themselves in this land. Whether they know it or not, they are here. Two of them, partners, some would say, were tasked to come here. Another was sent here from a young woman close to him, or so he thought. The final received an unusual letter from a man known as Kolyan Indurovich. Each of them, following the maps and directions given to them on how to reach this place, from various directions, some hailing from the east, some from the south. But they all end up following one old lonely road through a deep forest. Black pools of water stand like dark mirrors in and around the muddy roadway. Giant trees loom on both sides of the road, their branches clawing at the mist. And as the four of you walk, separately but seemingly together, the fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you. A head jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. You should be able to see it on roll 20. There should be a, like a little pop-up. Let me know if you see it. It should be a... Nope. Not yet. I see it on your show, screen. Show to... Oh, wait, wait. There it is. There it ah. goes. Barovia. Okay. Barovia. <laughs> Huge it's iron big. gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars, and two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate. Uh, hold on. Let me reset the music. I think, I don't know, George, by the way, let me know if there's a way to loop the Sirenscape audio, because I don't think it's looping right now. And I have to keep hitting play again. Um... But also, I did try to gotta keep that micro up. Buttresses, so don't don't underestimate me too much here. <laughs> uh, I can't help who I am. There we go. <laughs> so these two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate. Their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. As you walk forward, each of you traveling by foot, the gates swing open as they approach, screeching as the hinges move and then close behind you. 
Oh, that's a door creaking. <laughs> 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 Not the hinges. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's a spooky hinge. <laughs> <laughs> Towering trees whose tops are lost in heavy gray mist block out all but death gray light. The tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another, and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave, yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. As you continue to walk, Order and Marshall, Zandaka, you're on your own, Viola also on your own, it seemingly feels as if you've been walking for hours. And for a moment, in the back of each of your heads, you may have gotten the feeling to turn back. Some of you may ignore that voice in the back of your head, your own pride, confidence, or determination telling you to keep going forward. But the others of you, the voice of reason gets the best of you and you decide to turn back. But as you do, the thick mist surrounds you as you walk. It covers you and your vision. You can't see more than five, four, three feet ahead, and suddenly the mist and fog suffocates you. You can't breathe, your body aches, you get fuzzy. You can't continue like this. You feel as though you may go unconscious any minute. So you turn away from the mists, back to where you were, and proceed forward. Orandare, Ordare and Marshall. The two of you have been traveling together, maybe chatting amongst yourselves, but not much has been going on just yet, not much action. You begin walking in, in this woods, and you see a figure in front of you. It looks like a girl? A tiefling girl? Walking by herself? And then, Viola, as you're walking, you see, even beyond you, a shadowy figure with a hood, a man maybe, or a beast. It's hard to tell from this distance. With all the fog, you see somebody as well. Marshall and Order, what do you guys do? Well, well, <laughs> well, uh, I guess we keep pressing on onward. Not much else to do. Okay. Do you see what I see out there, Law? Yes, the f figure. D nothing we can't handle. Let's uh, introduce ourselves. You there. Hello there. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, <clears> the <throat> name's Law. Marshal Law. And this is my partner, Ordare. We, uh... We're here for this so-called haunted house. We're here to cover the mysteries that lie within and untangle them and put them to rest. Why are you here? I received a letter inquiring of my, my most beautiful presence. You know, it, everyone here is, is just blessed to have me around. Uh, what were your names again? Law, Mar Marshall and Law and Or... Odar? Was that it? <laughs> close, close. I'm Ordare. And I am or Law. Dare. Law is fine. Hey, Law, uh, Law it will be. Any of you guys seen a, a corner store around here or something? <clears throat> Who are you? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no one. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just looking for a store. Uh, you know, maybe you think that one of those haunted houses you're going for has a store by it. It's not likely. Oh. I was specifically no like, told there was one. Those are pretty ubiquitous. I feel like you would be able to find that anywhere. Uh, I don't think many people like to set up shop near a haunted establishment. I mean, don't ghosts need things too? I don't think they require sustenance like, like us, but... Maybe. Huh. Maybe she lied to me. Who is she? Oh, All this right, woman. Well, does anyone know where we are? Uh, Leave or dare. He, he does the maps. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, and I fumble around with the maps that I've had. And uh, 
were we were we told that we were going like where were we uh told so the that maps we were going? the maps led you to those gates where those big statues were but beyond that there wasn't really much direction so you guys have been traveling through these dark woods for quite some time now and you haven't really been able to find exactly where you're supposed to be going you know normally we would uh require more information for a job such as this a little bit of more specifics but uh the money was good and no job is too big or too small for Ordair and Law. Well, you know, as one of the top students at Magic Wands, not to be confused with Black Staff, uh, or no, Black Wands, that's what it's called. Uh, you know, we had lots of great visitors, but of course they'd require me to come on this journey, so not really surprised. Oh, you're special. You must be one oh, of the special ones. Oh, yes. Quite high ranking school. Wonderful school. Could not have attended a better school. Awesome. Well, I'm Zendaka. Nice to meet you, special, special woman. Uh, Viola. Viola. Nice. And Order and Law. Yes, That's yes. Right. Order and Law. And I hand out a card to each of you. <laughs> if you need any paranormal investigations, you know who to call. Yeah, maybe. Do we, like, so uh, did we see, do we know the direction we're going? So there's basically only one path that you guys have been following. Um, okay. It, like, there is woods all around you. For the most part, you all have been following a straight path. And as the four of you come together and chat amongst yourselves, it's again, is it by fate or a strange coincidence that not long after you find each other, you see a small village ahead of you. It's the first sign of life in, in a while. And it just, again, seems very coincidental that the minute you all start talking with each other, it becomes, it appears in your distance, a small village. Ah, that seems like an innocuous village. Maybe we should stop there. Yeah, I knew if we just kept walking, eventually we'd find it. Or dare you did it again. Found our way. Yes, I know how to read a map. Yeah, you must be really good at that. Well, let us rendezvous at the, the, best. At the village. The gravel road leads to a village, its tall houses dark as tombstones. Nestled among these solemn dwellings are a handful of closed up shops. Even the tavern is shut tight. And as you continue to walk through, a soft whimpering draws your eye toward a pair of children standing in the middle of an otherwise lifeless street. That seems nefarious. And oh, they must just be going to school. In the, is it nighttime? <laughs> it's hard to tell what time of day it is because when you look up, the mist and fog in this place is so dense that it already blots out any sun that you would see. Though at this point, it does look like it's getting to be later in the day. You would, you would suspect potentially sunset. Where are your parents, children? As you, you should not be out here unattended. As you look and you see, it looks like a girl and a smaller boy as you yell out to them. The, the little boy whimpers and, and kind of hides behind the taller girl and she shushes him. Shh, shh. And the two of them just look at you all. He, she doesn't respond. I'm not gonna hurt y'all. What, what are y'all doing out here? It's late. Yeah. Yeah. The, the little boy clutching his doll moves more behind his sister. She looks to you. The two of you, Marshall and Order, there's a monster in our house. And she points to a tall brick row house that has seen better days. Its windows are dark. It has a gated portico. I think that's how it is. On the ground floor. And the rusty gate is slightly ajar. The houses on either side are abandoned and their windows are, and doors are boarded up. 
a monster, well, we gotta go take care of that for you. Now, what kind of monster yeah. are you uh, talking about? We we haven't seen it. The girl continues to to talk. Oh, we I haven't seen it, but I've heard its terrible howls, the, the loud howls. They're they're so loud. I turn to Law with a knowing look, and I say, Sounds like some sort of ghoul. They were right to call us for this job. Uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, handle this. Our, our parents, they they trapped it in the basement. It's, it's in the basement. What? This seems like the perfect job for us. Uh, it, what a fortuitous... That, uh, day for you to have met us. We can clearly take care of this. Are we not? Can we not? We can definitely take care of this. Well, we're, girl... we're professionals, so for sure we can take care of this. The girl doesn't really respond to your guys' confidence. She still <laughs> just whimpers. <laughs> can you please also save our baby brother? There's He's in more. there. <laughs> Yes. A little one. Oh. We're yes. there. He's, we must. He's. He should be in his room upstairs. Can you please save him? We'll, huh? we'll save your family, little children. And I hand them a card. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't need anything it. else. <laughs> <laughs> We'll still handle this, and we'll we'll push onward toward the house. And you guys walk past them. Um, they kind of stand again outside uh, in, in the yard, and uh, you guys uh, approach the front of the house. Um, all right, so let me change the map. Roll for initiative, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody roll for initiative. <laughs> Just kidding. That's like my running joke. It's the only <laughs> one I have at this point. It's always true. I know. Okay. That's what George it is. <laughs> so, what the heck? Why is this cut off? Um, so you guys should have your little, um, your little uh, uh, tokens that you should be able to control. Mm. Uh, mm. And also, you should only be able to see a certain map visibility. Uh, that is me... very small. Yeah, I can't see nothing. Uh, if you could zoom, there should be a zoom um, on the top right as well if you want. To... Oh, controlled by Viola. Hold on. There we go. You should be. Oh, God. What oh, just happened? Whoops. Oh, God. Who moved I don't the know. map? <laughs> I don't know. It was probably me. I don't know. I'm sorry. It might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> might have been me. <laughs> um, okay. So you guys, uh, you guys approach um, the house. It's a. Uh, a wrought iron gate with hinges on one side and a lock on the other fills the archway of a stone portico. The gate is unlocked and its rusty hinges shriek when the gate is opened. Oil lamps hang from the portico ceiling by chains, flanking a set of oaken doors that open into a grand foyer. So this is uh, where it kind of opens into here, this foyer. Ooh. And the doors uh, are open. How do I move my character? Please drag. Hey, Diane. Oh. Uh, let me see. With the hand tool? Pan or select move? It should be oh, select move. Yeah. I got it, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, obviously Viola would be going in first because she's number one. Okay. Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> is the door uh, unlocked? It is. So do you guys uh, approach a uh, walk-in? Yes, Viola opens both doors very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, okay. children. Is there children in here and a monster? I never said we were a smart party. <laughs> now, they they said that they're... They're... The, brother was upstairs. I think at least one of us should go and attend to the child first. So as well, you walk in, um, 
A wide hall runs the width of the house with a black marble fireplace on the end here. <clears throat> uh, and then a red sweeping, a sweeping red marble staircase at the other end. Mounted on the wall above this fireplace is a long sword with a windmill cameo worked into the hilt. Uh, the wood paneled walls are ornately sculpted with images of vines, flowers, nymphs, and satyrs. And there are lots of doors you see. There's a door here, a door here, uh, a door here. And then two doors here, which I haven't actually revealed. Let me so there's lots of doors, and then there's a stairs that go upward. Or dare you want to take care of the child while we uh, find this monster, dispatch it? Absolutely. I'll, sure I'll head upstairs. Good idea for us to split up in a haunted house. Or dare can handle himself, and, and he's the noblest guy I know. He'll he'll handle it. No ghost has taken me down yet. That's good enough for me. Okay. So, uh, uh, Ordare, you're going upstairs? Yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind the company, but, uh, if y'all need to take care of the monster, if you think that it'll take all three of you, I understand. You know... I think maybe we should get the monster together first, and then we can get the little boy. I was going to say, by the way, Tracy, we can technically see the map on your screen. Oh, yeah. Stream, but I'm just not going to look there. Yeah, this. same. I was going to say. you didn't want the audience to know. Um, yes, the audience can know. You guys uh, just don't look at the stream in that bottom That's corner. I, I, I left the stream. I don't you look. look. I ain't looking. I wish you didn't tell me. Now I've got this temptation. Yeah, I know. The temptation is there. I not even know. The temptation is there. What's but... in the box? What's yeah. in the box? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Or dare, do you well... feel better if I went with you and they scouted it out? You know I always feel better with you at my side, partner. You could always scream if you need help. Y'all well, scream if y'all need help. We'll we'll come and, and rescue y'all. <laughs> I'll, I'll start heading upstairs. Okay. Good so to have <laughs> two law enforcement officers exploring with uh, you. Nice. Investigative <laughs> agents is what we like. Technically to former oh. law yes. enforcement officers. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, must have been an internal affairs thing. You could say that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we all have our, our past to contend with. And you can you can take the man out of the law, but you can't take the law out of the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I heard that one. Right. Anyway, uh, let us check. I don't know. Which do you have a preference on doors? <laughs> Let's go with uh, door number one. You always go through door number one first. Uh, is which one is door number one? Well, the left, dummy. Always the door on the left. How dare you? What uh, is your certificate in any way? Do you even have one? Why would I need a certificate to open doors? What kind of school do you go to? A very important one. Now you get to enter first. Absolutely. Okay. So, Zandaka, you open up this door, and it reveals a very nice dining room. Absolutely. Is there food at the table? Labbergasted. So the centerpiece of this wood-paneled dining room is carved by a mahogany table surrounded by eight high-backed chairs with sculpted armrests and cushioned seats. A crystal chandelier hangs above the table, which is covered with respect resplendent silverware and crystalware polished to a dazzling shine. Uh, you don't see any food on the table, but everything here looks really nice quality. And it doesn't look like there's dust or anything on it. Um, it just, everything's very neatly placed and looks pretty nice. Um, they're uh, mounted above the fireplace here is uh it's a marble fireplace with mahogany framed painting of an alpine veil nice 
Too bad there's no food in here. Wonder where all the people went. Hmm. Monster? Monster, are you here? Nope, it does not seem to be here. Seems no monster. Maybe we should have tried door two. Ah, oh, I hate it when I go through door one. Right. Okay. Um. Maybe yeah, you should try going do. first. Why not? So then door two, we'll do this one. Okay. Um, Let me in. Meanwhile, while you guys are going into that room, um, the two of you go upstairs, uh, Marshall and Ordair. So I'm actually just going to quickly move to the second floor here. And mm. uh, you guys will all be able to see this. Uh, as you guys Ooh. head up the uh, circle stairs, um, <clears throat> give me one moment. That is. As uh, Marshall and Ordera, you go upstairs. Unlit oil lamps are mounted on the walls of this elegant hall. Hanging above the mantelpiece is a wood-framed portrait of a family. It looks like uh, a man and a woman with two smiling children. And cradled in the man's arms is a small baby. Which the mother looks like she's kind of angrily looking down at this child. Standing uh, across the way are suits of armor uh, that flank wooden doors on the east and west walls. Each of the uh, suits of armor clutch a spear, and they have a visored sh uh, helm shaped like a wolf's head. Hmm. You see this picture, Law? This portrait? Yeah, I don't like it. It's, it's unsettling. Yes. The baby reminds me of young Callan when he was but a wee small child. And and uh, Lol pull out a flask and drink out of it real quick and say, yes, it reminds me of. All right, wh where do you think this this baby is? I don't know, but we should press on and find out. There's a couple of rooms here we should check out. Uh, choose, uh, let's get the right door, you know? Right seems okay. Um, one second. Okay. Think, I think that you guys are not able to move your Correct. pawns right now, right? No. How do Correct. I get this to work? Uh, oh, there we go. Control by, uh, Marshall. Or, no, that's law. Okay. <laughs> controlled by law and controlled by order. Okay. Perfect. So the one on the uh, the right here. Yes. Okay. Please. Yep. Okay. So opening this door, um, you see. In this room, it looks like a library of sorts. Red velvet mm. drapes cover the windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and matching high black chair face the entrance of the fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a rocky crag. Situated in the corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. Floor-to-ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. A rolling wooden ladder allows one to easily reach the higher shelves. Hmm. This place seems awfully nice for what's around it, doesn't it? Yes, that's true. And you guys uh, also do. Not... You do notice that, yeah, everything looks really nice here. Again, it doesn't look like there's dust or any signs of wear on any of the items. Everything looks just really nice. That's the second time I've seen that, that windmill signature. It's must be a proud family of some sort. Hmm. Well, there's... It seems like this place is well lived in. Maybe there aren't any ghosts in this house. Maybe it's just a family. And maybe there's just a run-of-the-mill monster downstairs. We can only hope. 
All right, let's find this. Let's find this child. Yes, let's move on. Okay. Meanwhile, downstairs. <clears throat> back to the first floor. Um, Viola and Zandaka, you guys enter into this room, and you see a kitchen. Uh, it, it there's a lot of uh, it's very tidy. There's dishware, cookware, utensils neatly placed on the shelves. Um, the work there's a work table with a cutting board uh, and rolling pin on top of it. A stone dome shaped oven stands near the east wall, uh, and then um, yeah, and then you see a small stocked pantry, and there is actually a lot of food in the pantry. I'm gonna start hmm. eating. <laughs> Okay. Um, right. In the middle, she's like, what a dapper... What are you doing? <laughs> Look, I, we've been walking for a while. I'm really hungry. It's been ten minutes. Roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You feel... Nothing. The food in the pantry appears fresh, but tastes bland. <laughs> it's alright. That was just what I needed. You know, I should go and stop by strangers' houses and eat their food more often. To the next room. <laughs> do do you want any of this? It's it's not Not fun. at all. It's not in my diet. <laughs> Door number three is always the right one though. After you. Oh, I would be obliged. Okay. In this room, um, it's a very nice room, actually. There's uh, an oak-paneled room. Kind of looks like a hunter's den of sorts. Mounted above the fireplace is a stag's head. And positioned in the outskirts of the room are three stuffed wolves. Two padded chairs draped in animal furs uh, face the hearth, with an oak table between them supporting a cask of wine. Two carved wooden goblets, a pipe rack, and a candelabrum. A chandelier hands, hangs above the cloth-covered table, surrounded by four chairs. Mm. And then I there's no two cabinets. In here either. I'm beginning to wonder if this monster is real. I'm gonna look in the cabinets. Are there anything in there? Uh, yes. In, uh... Actually, so the one cabinet has, uh, one cabinet is locked, uh, the one, uh, to the right. The one above, uh, holds a, uh, a deck of playing cards and an assortment of wine glasses. Please do not ex exacerbate the situation. I'm gonna grab the deck of cards. Okay. <sighs> I lost my last one, you know? It's nice. I don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, do you? No. Well, I'll give I it a shot. I come from a high standard. Yes, the special school. Well, uh, I'm going to yes. try to Black pick the ones. lock on this. Okay. Uh, you don't have thieves tools, do you? No. Okay, so just, uh, just roll a sleight of hand. Um, okay. 15. Once, Bajir came and visited. It was a wonderful evening of talks with him. So you uh, are able to open up, uh, uh, unlock this um, cabinet, and you find in there a heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, a hand crossbow, and 20 bolts for each weapon. Oh. Well. Maybe uh, we should get the uh, investigative officers some of this equipment. I'll take the light crossbow, though. Okay. I rely on my magic. Well, I guess I'll carry this for him until we meet up with them. It was That's... one light crossbow, a heavy crossbow, and... And a hand crossbow. Bolts. And a hand crossbow. And 20 okay. bolts for each. That seems to be every room down here. Suppose we should move upstairs. Yes, I suppose we should uh, help them. Um, I think I'm going to switch my music, um, because Sirenscape has stopped working for a moment. 
Um, so I'm going to play music, my backup music, which is on roll 20, which you guys will all be able to hear. You may want to adjust the audio on roll 20. Um, so I'm, I'm going to play right now. I'm going nope, to, so if you go to settings, there's master music volume. Um, if you want to turn that down, you can adjust the audio or the music to how you want to. I'm going to play something now. So hopefully it doesn't break your ears. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that, that's working. It's working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just going to use this music. Ears. Cool. Okay. All right. With that, um, let's go back to our two law enforcers upstairs. You guys uh, open uh, this door and reveal another area here, another room, another very nice room. Um, you. <clears throat> so you see gossamer drapes covering the windows of this elegantly appointed hall which has brass-plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Upholstered chairs line the walls, and a stained glass wall hangs, uh, depicts uh, beautiful men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. A harpsichord with a bench rests in the northwest corner. Near the fireplace is a large standing harp. Alabaster figurines of well-dressed dancers adorn the mantelpiece. Pretty. Doesn't look like a kid's room to me. Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that, Law? Do you remember the case of the whispering chandelier? I, th I thought maybe. You're not hearing it again, are you? No, I, I guess not. We never did find out what was going on with them chandeliers. Only you heard it, so... Mm. Let's not start this again. What's your guys' uh, <laughs> passive perceptions? Good question. The Ari weeps somewhere in the distance. 16. <laughs> yeah, not high. 16? Yeah. That's, that's oh, high. mine as well, or...? Uh, just Just uh, Marshall in order. 13? Okay. okay, 16. Uh, Marshall... As you're just kind of admiring this room and, and your partner's talking to you, um, you look at these um, figurines and you take a second glance at them. And they originally were like these well-dressed dancers. Looking at them again, they look like skeletons. Did, did we see them shift? You didn't see anything. Just Marshall saw it. Oh. I think I'm, I'm seeing still looking things. at the chandelier. <laughs> uh, or dare that these figurines? Did, did did you see them change now that they're skeletons? You don't see anything. No, I, I confess, I was paying attention to the chandelier. You in the chandeliers? This, I'm starting to think this place may uh, be more than meets the eye. There's, Something strange going on here. There's no one here. It's the nicest house I've ever been in. And those two children outside, they said their parents were here and their brother was here. We haven't found anyone. No, but clearly someone has been keeping this place neat and tidy. So you say that these figurines shifted. Yes. And I, I reach over and I pick up one of the skeletons uh you touch it and they it just you pick it up and nothing happens they're just hmm. figurines of beautiful dancers these these nice dancing figurines and now Marshall you look at it again them? as he holds it and they look like dancers again I, th <clears throat> I think I'm just. Uh, I think, uh, <clears throat> and he takes another swig out of his flask. And he's like, uh, I think I just need a little more <clears throat> in my system. I'm seeing things. Marshall, you promised you'd quit drinking. I thought, I thought those days were behind you. 
Young Callan calls you Uncle Law. You need to set a better example. You know, as we're looking after, we're looking for a, a young boy, and you know what happened with mine. It's how I cope, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> let's. Uh, I think, I think maybe we just need to find this this kid and, and get the hell out of here. You're right. You're right. Focus on the investigation. That's always served us well. Yeah. Thank uh, the figurine. You you pocket it? Yes, I do. Okay. So you guys exit the room, and uh, Viola and Zandaka, you guys were going upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? You guys have... Order. Are you up Law? here? <laughs> uh, yes. Did, <clears throat> did y'all find uh, the basement or anything of interest? Absolutely nothing. Spotless. The only monster looking. is this uh, crossbow here. Do you guys know how to use crossbows? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, but I have my my own longbow that I use. It what about me? Well. I have my trusty morning star and oh. riot shield. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Is that a thing that is there a is that a DT Beyond? Uh, <laughs> it, it was on Hero Forge, and I was like, I'm an ex cop. I'd probably use a riot <laughs> I don't shield. Know. I don't know if that's in DT 5 e Could this be a big shield? I guess yeah, yeah like a Council uh, uh, Grim. Could I get a riot shield? <laughs> is this the big shield he uses? He calls it his riot shield. It's just the big shield. I don't. He, he likes to think he's, you know, he's the frontline guy. I'm kind of standing in the back. And... Well, Have you found anything up here in this meticulously kept mansion? Uh, just some shifting figures, but no shifting child figures. yet. And I think this, this place, there's something off about it. We've seen several like it in our past work, and it's definitely an aura this house has. I think we need to find this kid, get rid of this monster, and... Get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, it sounds like a plan to me. Were we not supposed to see that room, Tracy? Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I realized I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> they can see that room. I can see through walls. <laughs> Have we checked this entire floor? Is there another floor, by the way? Uh, there are. Yes, there. The the, the staircase does continue up. Well, Do we need to finish this floor? Or dare? I think we missed. <laughs> that door, you know, we were saving it for last. <laughs> um, in that wow. room, uh, you find uh, uh, it's not a very uh, night, not as well decorated as some of the previous rooms you've seen. It's an undecorated bedroom. Uh, it contains a pair of beds with straw stuffed mattresses. At the foot of each bed is an uh, a foot locker, and um, yeah, it doesn't look like the most of rooms. I want to go through uh, the foot lockers. Uh, they're empty, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. Guess I'll leave these crossbows in them, though. Presents for when they get back. Roll, there you go, kids. Roll me a uh, investigation right. check, uh, Zandaka. Um, <laughs> that's a three. Okay. Um, just from what you've gathered yeah. of this room, it looks like it might be like a servant's quarters or something. Like, it doesn't really look um, like a children's room or anything. Just maybe like a servant's room. Hmm. Well, guess no kids in here. Maybe we should uh, keep going. If you professionals think that's the best thing to do. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Onward and upward. That's what we always say. Thank you for Thank you for def- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, before we go on, I just want to test something. Every uh, every bit of abnormality could be something. And my partner here says that he saw something weird with this figurine. Do you see what he saw? And I hold up the figurine. You guys see a figurine of a beautiful dancer, a human. No, she looks kind of pretty, though. Reminds me of my mama. 
looks like a quintessential figurine of a beautiful dance. Mm. They may not have the, the keen eye. You try breaking it? I would never, not unless there was some reason to. This is someone's house and someone's property and Please. Now it's, yes. now it's evidence. You don't tamper with evidence. Destroying things. That's not how heroes work. Just uh... just remind me to place this back in the room when we're done on the way out. Unless it proves to be something more important. Then of course, yes, it is evidence. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Let's find this this kid. Okay. If he even exists. After you part two of duo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make your way up to the third floor and making my way upstairs to the third floor gonna find some monsters and dun, dun, dun. I... <laughs> and then we do, 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 do. see she knows that's, my weakness that's why i musicals. don't write songs because that's what that's what they are uh, that, that's who? what the, the service song is gonna be yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who heads up the stairs first? I'll volunteer. Yeah, I always like, Sorry go about your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back, everyone, just in case the monster's up here. Hmm, oh, are you yes. going to protect us? <laughs> I'd love to see your skill. I've got some skill. Okay, so as you head up the stairs, uh, Zendaka, you see, uh, you climb up the the red marble staircase, and uh, it actually ends here. Um, It doesn't proceed upward anymore, so it looks like you've reached at least what seems to be the top floor. Um, You uh, see a dusty balcony with a suit of black plate armor standing against one wall, draped in cobwebs. Um... Oil lamps are mounted on the oak paneled walls, which are carved with woodland scenes of trees, falling leaves, and tiny critters. Strange. And Zandako, what's your passive perception? 13. Uh, As you're looking and looking at the... uh, Admiring these beautiful um, <clears throat> oak paneled walls. Um, for a second, you look, and it looked like woodland scenes of trees, leaves, and tiny critters. You notice now there's tiny corpses hanging from the trees and worms bursting up from the ground. Uh, <laughs> something's not right about this place. That's the smartest thing you've said all day. Yeah, I like to pride myself on the smart things I say. Do we also see that? Only Zendaka sees that right now. There's uh, there's bodies. Bodies everywhere. You guys just see woodland scenes. You're beginning to lose your mind. There's, there's corpses hanging from the trees. I, uh... I see perfunctory examples of woodland creatures little squirrel like creatures and it's actually quite nice Zandaka I saw something similar earlier so don't feel bad well what did you see skeletons oh that's not good well now I'm I'm thinking that they're food you ate oh the food there must be something This is a common paranormal occurrence. This is only minor, that aren't there. minor illusions so far. Nothing to be alarmed about, but it's definitely something paranormal going on here. Sure, could be could be harmless. Hmm. Or perhaps you're just flummoxed. Takes more than perhaps, that. Perhaps, ma'am, perhaps. Anyway, let's, uh... I guess we should, uh, check out this floor, too. Strange, this this isn't as well kept as the rest of the house so far. Guess I'll go to, uh, the door on the left. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, okay, so 
opening up this door, you see a bedroom. hallway. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a door of doors. And give me one moment here. Dust and cobwebs shroud an elegantly appointed bedroom. And in an adjo uh, adjoining nursery, um, which if you peered in this room, you would see. <laughs> this is uh, a little nursery. <clears throat> and uh, overlook with a balcony overlooking uh, outside there. That uh, door opens to the outside. Um, and yeah, this room looks, like you said, not as nice as the rooms below. It's dusty, cobwebs, and just very not... Nice. Mm. This room seems quite disheveled. Yeah. They really let themselves go up here. I sure hope this isn't the baby's room. I open up this adjoin adjoining room here. Okay. Uh It'd do be you a go strange bed for a baby? You go in the uh nursery? Yes, I'd, I'd like to check out the nursery. Okay. Um, Hello, baby. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Perception. Ooh, that's a nat 20. Okay. Mm. 23. You, um, you look and you see what looks like the body, or, you, or it looks like somebody, something sleeping in the, the bed, but you don't hear crying or anything. What do you got in there, partner? Oh, I think I might have found... And I lean over, and I reach out to see, get a closer look. As you reach out, <clears throat> uh, you'd reach and touch, and it's empty. There's no baby. The, the bundle of, of blankets just dissipates. And as you touch it, you hear the shrieks of a, of a woman screaming. And... What a cacophony sound! Uh, <laughs> hate when that happens. This <laughs> <laughs> is really loud. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no. I'm scared. Oh god, this might be really loud. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm like on edge waiting for it to happen. Oh, did you not hear it? No. 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 Shit! <laughs> I don't know if the stream <laughs> uh, The stream definitely hears it. It's really loud. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh no, what uh, happened? Stream. <laughs> um confirm the stream two can hear it. of us. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? <laughs> Unless I turn on the stream, but I, I'm afraid I don't want to like boil myself. Um, do you hear you hear any audio currently? Any no. background music? Nope. No. Oh my god, stream uh, stream is probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I can turn on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. That sounds uh, like battle music, so I'm just gonna walk away from that. <laughs> if we can't hear the battle music, then we can't roll for initiative. So. Yeah. If there's no battle, if there's no battle music, no battle, I agree. If there's no battle music. I don't make Ooh. the rules, okay? We did it. We beat D&D, &D, everybody. We won. All right, let's go home. <laughs> so that's that was weird. A fun home. Right, we're, all, we're all home. Siren's game yeah. was working. This is your now... home now. One moment. One moment, please. Wherever Piddlewick is, that's my home. Stop! Oh, God. 
chat, do your fav do yourself a favor and look up Piddlewick and then you can see why we're upset. <laughs> why Piddlewick's the best. Piddlewick is, is ruining our other campaign, Andrew. Not really. <laughs> it's <getting> better. <laughs> No, He's chat, do key. it. Ruin your day. <laughs> chat, don't do it. <laughs> do it, you won't. Hmm. Do it. Do it! The hateful through you. to look up more big words. <laughs> and by the way, if I say them wrong, it's on purpose. Okay. I, I've, I've kind of figured that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Law just keeps rolling his eyes at, at you. That applies to me in real life, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's even better. Okay, cool. Man, I hope we don't have to roll initiative yet. I've got so many more words to use. This place is our god. <laughs> 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 is this from the Baroque period? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what is this one? <laughs> you over there, don't boondoggle. What? Don't boondoggle. <laughs> That's definitely not used correctly. <laughs> That's the, I love it. Or is I it? Love it. Oh, it is a verb. Hi. I didn't think it was a verb, yeah, but it is. Aha. <laughs> what happened? Oh no. Uh. Oh, interesting. Also, I think you're starting to glitch a little bit. Might be just me. I don't hear. It's time to get wrong. you, and yeah. I got away. <gasps> is that is that is that mini or that... no that is speculos oh speculos here i can i can fix this ready cat time oh Everything he looks fixed. grumpy <laughs> no not grumpy We'll be right back. Okay. BRB.
correct. Okay. Okay. So now oh. we're hearing this. Yeah. And um, let me just do this. Which one were you doing that was not looping? Uh, resetting the scene. So if we go back, oh. go into the mists, into the mist, uh, the house. Oh, and here's what you can do too. If we just go to install, oh, okay. um, uh, setting the scene. Yeah. So if this stops looping, yeah. it's just because, uh, well, one, if you click on any of these, right. that'll make it stop looping. Yeah. But if this is lit and it's not looping, it just means that the song ended. Yeah. And then it takes a second. Oh, okay. So you just like, mean... It's a lot of silence. I don't like it. I think I'm not going to use the music on Sirenscape. Just that, that's press. fair. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually... That's what I'll do is I'll pick the sounds I like. Yeah. And then if you press this down here... Mm -hmm it'll save whatever you have going yeah. to like a special name so that way you can yeah. do it. But yeah, that's going, uh, although we don't see it here. Um, oh, right, we gotta go to here. Um, volume setting, or sound settings, app, sirenscape, voice meter, input. Yeah, oh, are we not playing anything? No, we are, we are, I hear it. I hear it. But why isn't it showing up here? Um, I still hear it. I still hear it. That's better. Now it's showing up. Okay. That sounds right. I mean, I hear it. We should go to Discord and see if they hear it. Okay. Uh, open up my Discord. Oh, Discord. Uh, go to the chat. Hey, can you guys hear me? Okay, can you hear, do you hear music and chanting in the background? No, they don't hear it. Okay, that's fine. So, voice, uh, input device. Input device. We don't want to be your microphone. We want to be voice meter output. Yeah. Oh. Can they hear it now? Oh, I think the stream. Stream, hi, stream. Uh, I think the stream can hear us now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yay, it works! Okay, cool. Thank they you. They can hear you, though, on the Discord? Discord can hear. Stream can hear. We've done it. Yay! Thanks, George. Everybody, everybody say thank you to George for... Test, test, test. George. Even on those off night, we put him to work. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. Uh, no music? Oh, no. Uh, so, Chris, you don't... Chris. <laughs> it's there. Chris says there's music now. Oh, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Bijan, uh... did you see people say, oh, no, they have backstories whenever we start <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea. They have no idea. <laughs> they have time. Okay. So. Uh, okay, chat. We'll be back in just one moment.
stream. Hi, everybody. We're back. Thanks, everybody, for yeah. being patient uh, with the tech goblins who have come to haunt me. Uh, <laughs> this is my first time uh, doing to this level uh, this kind of stream. So I appreciate all of you for your patience and time. And We're back, baby. Yeah. We're back. So with that, um, so Ordare, as you reach down and, and touch this bundle that is seemingly empty with no child, you hear the loud screech of a woman. No. And appearing before you is this spectral-like woman who looks at you all. And she looks down at you. A, a terrified, skeletally thin young woman. Oh, psychophant. Hi, do you need any of the food from downstairs? You look like you haven't eaten in a really long time. You dare disturb me? You dare come here and awaken? Leave now. Leave! I now, think that's the monster. She now, ma'am, I, I would love to, I would love to acquiesce to your demands, but we are here for a child. Where is the child? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Spectres. Why did it have to be specters? <laughs> Um, and everybody, she reaches out at you, Ordair, and strikes, and everybody, roll initiative. Oh, there we go. she attacked my- Here we go. Partner! Yes, everything is going according to plan. Mine's alright. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh, um, I, I did that on purpose. So, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Ordair rolled a net 20. Uh, no, I didn't. And... Oh, no, that wait, was pretty Oh, you rolled a 9! Uh, so Ordair... I rolled a... <laughs> Law is 10. I mean, I shouldn't have said nothing. Uh, Zendaka, <laughs> yeah. 19. Net 20, baby. Spectre, 18. Um, <clears throat> and Viola, 3. All right, so she uh, like attacks you guys uh, in a quote-unquote uh, surprise round. Uh, mm. She will attack you or dare. Oh no. I hastily reach for my non-riot shield. <laughs> Perfectly normal D&D shield. Uh, does a nine hit you? It does not. Okay. So she reaches for you, and, and you kind of quickly grab your riot shield and uh, move back a bit, and her, her long, thin arm stretches and barely touches you. Um, next up is... Uh, Zandaka. I say, you can't hurt my new friend, and I'm going to run in and attack her with my Yikola. Um, I guess I move pew, pew. into the room and... Sorry, 19. Yeah. Does a 19 hit? Um, it does hit. Alright. What, uh, um... Question, oh, what sorry. kind of weapon is this? Uh, it is a piercing weapon. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Was It didn't show up in roll 20 oh. uh, for some reason, but it's 10 damage total. 10 damage? All right. So you strike through her, and it hits, and you see it, and she kind of looks for a second, but 
you feel like it didn't do all of the, the damage that you did when you hit it, uh, or when you hit her, and she looks at you and screeches. And um, she's gonna go for you on her turn and, now. Um, I'm just gonna bonus action uh, okay. martial arts. So I'll just like do a melee or try to do a melee attack uh, to hit her with offhand. Oh, uh, and I'm guessing 23 hits then. That does hit. Okay, and then hopefully this will roll in. Did that work? Yep. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's five. That's just uh, bludgeoning damage. So, okay. Uh, okay, so you do, again, you, you strike through her, and um, it does, uh, you know, it, she does look again at you um, from these two strikes, and she reaches out to attack you, uh, Zandaka. <gasps> Something uh, weird is going on here. Uh, oh. oh my god. Okay. Uh, she hits you for a nat 20. That's not good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh no, are we, are we losing Frank already? Look at Tracy's <laughs> face. This is terrible. <laughs> Tracy, why do you do this to us? Can you guys see that on the screen? Can you see the roll that I just rolled? Yeah. Or uh, 24. Is it behind? Yeah. So, and then I have to make a Constitution saving. Throw. Make a Constitution saving throw, DC ten. Hey, I made the save. Okay, you save, but you take twelve points of necrotic damage. I'm, I'm still up. Okay. Oh. What a oh tank expert unit. Wow. Okay. The absolute <laughs> unit. Um. So you, uh, this, her arm stretches right through you, Zandaka, and you feel as if a pulse was trying to steal your entire life essence, but you managed to resist it with your, with your keen mind. And uh, you feel the damage though, it hurts. It hurts like hell. And um, oh. yeah, that's your turn. Or that's her turn. Vile fiend. I will uh, send you back house. where you belong. Law, you're up next. Uh, <clears throat> upon seeing the uh, devastating blow that Zantaka suffered, I uh, <clears throat> would pull out my longbow to attack from a distance. <laughs> and uh, I'll make an attacking roll. Did that work? That worked. <clears throat> a 19 does hit. Sweet. Roll for damage. Uh Okay. So three. You um you hit her and you two as you do, it kind of goes through her and it it doesn't look like it's doing the damage that you're hoping. She does react to it. It screeches again. <clears throat> Keep fighting, we can whittle her down. Is this how it always goes in your paranormal investigations? And with that, uh, or dare. Wait. Oh, yeah, I am last. (laughs) (laughs) Get Get her, partner. I pull out the morning star and I wave it around my head. Try and bash her in the face. Okay. And uh, I probably do not. That does it's an miss. Eight. Yes. Um. Okay. Anything else on your turn, or just that? I don't think I. Can. I mean, you know, this is my first time playing a paladin. Do I have bonus actions? I don't think you do. I think that might be a for level no. one. No. Yep. That's it. Okay. Um, all right, and with that, Viola, it's your turn. Now, Tracy, mm-hmm. would I be rolling for to hit or for the magic, you think, based on what we talked about? Probably the magic, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to roll to hit. Oh! It- 
Okay. DPS. You can say DPS, that, but DPS. DPS. Oh, I shall take care of this. Uh, one second. Uh, it didn't do the second one, but it was a two. A two? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Let me see. I shall take care of this. Uh, it. Uh, she like opens her book. She's like, aha. <laughs> And you watch as these as these missiles come out of, of Viola's book and and strike at this at this specter and it it lashes out again and, and actually moves back um, and it, it looks like it took quite a hit from that. Uh, let me see. I don't think did too damage. Okay. Um, and it screeches again at you, um, Viola. And Zandaka, your turn. Well, I'm in a little bit of trouble, so I guess I am going to shift into my true form. Uh, I'll gain four temp HP, and then I'll swing at this thing again. Okay. So uh, describe to us what it looks, what the rest of the party sees as. You're shifting you into something else. You now see me shift into some kind of a weird, somewhat hideous cat creature. Uh, like a were-cat. Uh, <laughs> Fur standing sorry, on end, claws really everywhere. <laughs> and I'm just going to try to tear into this thing. Uh... Okay. 22... That does hit. That does strange. Uh, yeah, press C. Yeah, it's not. That's, my weapon damage isn't going, but that's 11 piercing damage. Okay. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. This specter, she, um, she looks at all of you. It, she begins to, to, um. Her gaze just looks at each and every one of you. It looks like she's kind of clinging on to whatever unlife she has. She looks at you, Marshall and Ordare, and she screams again. I'm telling you to leave this place. If you know what's good for you. And she is going to strike at you, Ordare. Um, with her last breath, her undying breath. Uh, oh my god. Tracy, can you stop? Can you please Chill. stop? Chill. Can you stop? Oh my god. Chill, girl. Oh my god. She hits, okay, so I'm assuming a 23 hits. <sighs> yeah. Level one. <laughs> Through his riot shield. <laughs> You take 10 necrotic damage. Is this thing broken? <laughs> George. And, and roll me a constitution. <laughs> roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, hey, no. George, get out of here, okay? There's yeah. no death okay. 18 on our con save. All right, so you two, similar to what Zendaka felt earlier, you feel as her arm, corporeal arm, goes through you, you feel your essence being sucked from you. It hurts. And you feel like she's trying to grab more, but she doesn't quite grab it. And you resist whatever it is. And she, um, uh, yeah. So you, you feel the pain from her arm going through you. And with that, um, uh, Marshall, it is your turn. Upon seeing, uh, or dare get, get hurt like that, I'll, uh, go into melee. Uh, range and attack with okay. uh, my short sword, and then I have a, a bonus action to, to also attack with my dagger. Okay. Uh, twelve just hits, and a twenty-two and hits. Twenty-two. Um, sick. Damage. All right. Uh, Marshall, how do you want to do this? What? <gasps> dare you! And I rush, put down my bow, and rush the, the specter, and 
and just walk up behind it and just tear it apart with my blades and, and just look at my partner with the look of like, I got your back, don't worry, nothing else is gonna happen. You, you strike through her and she screeches one last time. And, and, and vanishes into the air and disappears. And you all are left in this nursery with no baby. I don't like it here. What a terrible place. The food wasn't that good. You okay, the blame was on you eating the food. Yes, you've you've saved me yet again. The debt I owe you. And he looks to the ground. I'll mention it and, and I'll help uh, you up. <laughs> well, good job, everyone. We've made it through, but we still have no baby. No child, I'm Viola, Zendaka, if, if you are too scared to continue, we would not judge oh, you. We do this you every day. Assume how I would presumptuously be feeling. I am quite fine, thank you very much. However, keep an eye on our friend Zendaka here, who's eating food and stealing. Zendaka, smile at the in the pantry. Is this your house, Zendaka? Well, Honestly, <laughs> have you no honor? I, it, it's just, you know, treat your guests well. Zendaka, are you still? Are you still in your form, or are you back as a human? Uh, I guess I'm still in my form, but I can drop it. Um, Up to you. I was just curious if the, the group only, is talking to you. A, it, it only lasts for a minute, so it'll okay. it'll run off anyway. Okay. Eventually, you would see me shift back into more human-like form. I see you have some abilities. To make sure to to use them for good. I'm special too. Hmm. Don't hmm. know about that just yet. Does um, anybody have any healing for my partner here? Well. No. <laughs> I I have lay on hands that I could use, but um, Zendaka, how how badly hurt are you? Are you all right? You took quite the blow there. Zendaka. I'm not feeling too great. Um, I could, I could use a, a pick. So I'm up. gonna, I, I walk over to him. I put my hands on both his shoulders and I say, this isn't much, but hopefully you'll feel a little better and you can heal five uh five hp oh like a good massage <laughs> maybe you could have just gone eight to heal heal up some more it's way better than the food thank you um, i won't let anything like that hurt you again just try not to steal anything else while we're here Oh, oh, right. Oh, sure. Oh, Inspectors sure. don't like that. No. Yeah, must have really upset her. Let's not exasperate the situation more than we already have. Yes. You that must be why she attacked us. Remind me again. Actually, everybody roll perception checks. Just upon sitting here and talking amongst yourselves and in these two rooms. Uh, 12. 16. 8. Okay. I'm quite perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most perceptive Ten. person here. <laughs> um, Zentaka, you're the only one to notice this as you guys are kind of talking amongst yourselves. In the room, this nursemaid's room, there's the mirror uh, kind of like right here um, there's a mirror here and it looks like it's kind of moving like it's like hinging off the wall a little bit 
Oh, that's peculiar. Guess I'll walk over and look behind the mirror. Behind the mirror, you uh, look like uh, you kind of pull it off the wall a little bit, uh, off the hinges. It looks like a door. And it's a oh. door that leads to a small room with stairs. Guys, I think I Peculiar. found where the monster is. Hm. There's a there's a staircase in here. Perhaps we can cajole it out. Yes, cajole is that is that one of them advanced words? Your brain would not fathom it. Let's move on. Okay. Yes. Ke- keen eyes. Let's let's follow. You can roll your vicious mockery damage now. <laughs> <laughs> so if only. You guys, uh, so Zendaka, you're going to lead the way up the stairs? Yes, I will. Okay. So you guys make your way up to these uh, small wooden stairs. Um, and it looks like it leads to an attic. Uh, I think it's revealing. Do you guys see like the? No, it I looks don't see black anything. right now. Okay, that's weird. Live in a world of yeah. darkness. There oh, we see a little something. Yeah, okay. now we see some stairs. So I'm see. Um, so you guys, let me throw the. <clears throat> I feel like there's an easier way for me to do this, but uh, I have to re-add the tokens, and then you guys—I have to re-control everybody. But it's fine. It's mm. fine. Just give me one moment. I'm digging the music track, though. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Marshall, okay, and order. Okay. So you guys. Uh, in the front, you head up these stairs and um, head into an attic. This bare hall is choked with dust and cobwebs. And um, yeah, you the, the room is empty, uh, but you see a lot of doors uh, in this main hall area. <laughs> I say, I prefer the avant-garde section of this house. Yes, the avant-garde is much better. Just mm. so disheveled up here. Uh, Viola, was it? Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, you should check the door this time. Are you afraid? Oh, no, no, no. No need to answer. I shall take care of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll open this one. <laughs> okay. Let me in. Wait, I regret. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you are into in darkness. darkness. <laughs> you enter yeah. in- into darkness. Um, so this room, um, you... Uh, see a spare bedroom. It's a dust-choked room, contains a slender bed, a nightstand, a small iron stove, a writing desk with a stool, an empty wardrobe, and a rocking chair. Uh, (laughs) You see a smiling doll in a lacy yellow dress uh, in the window box, cobwebs draping like a wedding veil. Hi! I'm Lilith. On second thought, I've changed my <laughs> mind. <laughs> Do you want to be is friends? That, is that real, Tracy? <laughs> Let's be friends forever oh, and ever and ever. No, I'm just kidding. Viola would have been like, on second thought, you can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do not do talking small creatures. Ugh. Anything's <laughs> possible with the power of asthma, Deus. Deus, <laughs> do you want a hug? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do not. <laughs> uh, do I perceive anything strange? Uh, no. This room just looks dusty and bare. 
Well, nothing to see in this room. Your turn. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, you want to check out this bottom right? Yeah, let's go through that room. Um. <clears throat> what, uh, I actually. Oh, that is not a door. Could, that is a window. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, wait. Which one are you? Uh, which door are you looking at? Not this one, right? The bottom right, I think. So yeah, this, this is a window. That's uh, a, window. a window. Um, so you okay. look out. By the What's way, uh, <laughs> you you look at the window and you can't see much outside right now. The fog is so dense, you cannot even see trees. You cannot see the the ground. It's just fog. I'm starting to think we should have brought these kids with us. Yeah, it's have... probably and dangerous. Put out them there in one. danger. They have you great. seen outside? They, they are already are in training. danger. They were right about the monsters, Marshall. I, I feel potentially that this is not a place for kids. And I worry for the safety of this baby that we are searching for. Perhaps we should split up again and speed up our search. You want to split up after taking such dire hits? I think we should stick together this time. Yes, there's uh, there's ghosts around. And who knows if that was even the actual monster? And what if a ghost or specter comes across a defenseless baby, and none of no, us are there to protect it? We find the child. Now, <laughs> or dare I know you? <laughs> You're trying to do uh what's best, but what's best is that we're safe and able to help the child. So I think we must stick together. I just keep thinking of young Callan. I know Callan Dare is... He means Who's a lot. Callan? His son. My son. Oh. I just think about if something were to happen to him and how Corianne would feel about it. I wouldn't be able to go home to her. Oh, so you'd go to the store to get cigarettes, too. Is is that what happened to your father? <laughs> yeah, he must have gotten lost. I was told he was here. Uh, perhaps you could hire someone to investigate. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our could. card. <laughs> I hand well, we already have your card. <laughs> Let oh. me know if uh, you Just find someone who can help me. Backhands it away. <laughs> All right, let's stay on on task. Or dare, let's let's stick together. I don't want to lose Just you. Pick a door. No, see if I can open this door. Okay, that Careful door. Going into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall, you uh, you walk up to that door and you realize that it's locked, but it's locked from the outside. So you're able to unlock it. Um, very easily because it's locked from the outside. And ask if we wanted to unlock it. <laughs> uh, Do you want I, to unlock it? Yeah. Uh, okay. This this door is locked from this side. It's either keeping something in, or whoever designed it is out. stupid. Oh, yes. That was the conclusion I also was going to make. Uh. Shall we? And I'll I'll unlock it and take a peek in. Okay. As you do. As you open the door. Oh, fuck the music. The, the music change. Oh no. Roll for initiative. Ah! Ooh. You enter a room. It does sound like music for Pitwick. I swear to God, crazy! If you put the wick in this, I'm so <laughs> mad at you. If you, you hear a put the <laughs> wick, I can't. I was about to have a serious moment. I thought of fiddle. Wick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, I will murder you. <laughs> I will replace law with with Phyllis if fiddle wick is here. <laughs> this room. I hate the music. <laughs> I actually am gonna turn down this children singing. Also, it's oh it's bothering me. This is Thank so you. creepy. Oh. 
This room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood framed beds sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs and lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered, familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles, a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Is well, are there? <clears throat> the children. Yeah. Mm. They were specters outside, too. I'm afraid Help. There, there likely is no child. And as no, you let's step not jump to child. As you step we've... in, you all step in the we've... room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we have to? Uh, you see. <laughs> The two children. They appear in a spectral form. Now, now why have you gone and deceived us? You tricked us. The girl looks at, tilts her head at you. Who are you? What are you? Are you here to help? I think we are so. Here to, we are here to help. You, s- you asked us. Yeah, you tricked us into coming here. It's no. honesty would be appreciated. No, we we've been here waiting for our parents. We're just waiting for somebody. No, oh, me too. Where is your brother, <laughs> the baby? <laughs> Were you unprepared for this question? <laughs> the rapper, the baby. <laughs> <clears throat> they point to the little crib. I hate this part. Well, go on, you're closest. Is the is the crib in the top left? Uh Actually, this music so much. I hate it. (laughs) So So gross. Sorry, there is no crib, actually. They look at you and say, Lie to us. (laughs) He's gone. And where has he gone? He died. So long Uh, ago. Told you, partner, there is no child now. We then were we here. Solve the mystery. <laughs> we were waiting for mom and dad to come get us, but they never came back. We just stuck in here with our toys. We were so hungry. So hungry. Until he couldn't, couldn't bear the hunger anymore. My baby brother, Thorn, he. He was the first one to fall asleep. And then I fell asleep too. We never woke up. Well, make sure you walk towards the light. I wish you well. We should be on our way. Uh, have some sympathy. That is my sympathy. And Law takes out his flask, takes another swig, and picked a bad day to stop drinking. <laughs> Did you really stop? Because I've seen you drinking out of that a lot today. (laughs) Don't worry about it. Stay on task. Uh, (laughs) So, I guess what what do we need to do for you? What? How can we put your souls at at rest? Did you find the monster? We fought the ghost. Found a monster. I, th- I think we found in your the mom. basement. There is There's no basement? basement. Can Can you the tell girl, us how to get? She points to the the little dollhouse that she has. That's the perfect replica of this house. God. She points. There's stairs up here that lead to the basement. 
Well, that's counterintuitive. Hmm. Does Does anybody examine um, or look over at the dollhouse? Yeah, I'll, I'll look at the dollhouse. Yeah, I'd look as well. You guys it's an see... investigation now. Uh, actually, e yes. Uh, roll an investigation at advantage, both of you. Alrighty. Who's running rolling advantage? Or um, uh, Marshall and Zendaka. <clears throat> you could roll at advantage. Uh, 16. Okay. 18. Nice. Looking, uh, uh, it does look like an exact replica. All of the rooms that you've been in are all the same, so I'll just go ahead and reveal everything. <clears throat> you do see that there is a secret door that uh, leads to a small spiral staircase that looks like it does go all the way into the basement. Is that a room <clears throat> of rocks? <laughs> it's a, a, a room of covered uh, furniture. Things. Yeah, covered furniture, yeah. Uh. <laughs> what a strange room. <laughs> Very weird. Tom and house trope. There. <laughs> Please, so... don't leave us. Oh, you can come with can us. You Tell us anything about the monster in the basement. Yes. It's loud and howls endlessly. <laughs> Is it another ghost? I don't know. Something bigger. Is there a way to defeat it? I don't know. <laughs> Shall you know we what perhaps? It looks like, have you seen it? No. We've just heard it. Could be a creaky chimney for all we know. Let's go. Please, don't Perhaps. go. Please. Do you want us to take care of it or not? But you're just going to leave us here like mom and dad. <sighs> don't. Then come with. Let us, uh, let us stay for a bit, maybe. We might, we could maybe do with a, uh, a short rest to gather ourselves after that fight and comfort these children yeah, I for, could definitely for a small use a while. Short rest after that. Yeah, I have now that we know that there is no baby in danger. I have questions. There's much less of a well. rush. You just had to do it. You just had to stay. I'm on my way out. I'm like, let's go. You decide to stay. Now look what you've done. Never trust children. <laughs> Never trust children, okay? Is this out of character? Yeah, character? Out of character. That was completely out of character. <laughs> 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 but it could be character, who knows? Out of character, I'm right there with you. In character. Yeah. <laughs> In character, she'd be like... No. Oh. What, what are your names again? The little girl, uh, she's been speaking this whole time. The boy just whimpers quietly. My name is Rose, and this God. is my my brother, Thorn. Rose and Thorn, how appropriate. Uh, <clears throat> the sword downstairs with with like the the windmill uh, em embroidering on it is is that your family's sword? Yeah, yeah, that's my family's sword. Do you uh, think that it could help us defeat this monster of yours? I don't know. Don't touch your toys. <laughs> okay, we, we, we won't. won't touch your toys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, can you show us uh, where the staircase is so we can take us get rid with of the you? Monster? Okay, you can we, come with us. Can you follow us? Or do we have to take your remains? I am What's... not carrying those. What's your intelligence score, Marshall? That's really, really high. My intelligence is 19. The highest. Oh, so high. Oh, ah, yeah, so smart. I'm so smart. Based on your... That's why he's our partner. <clears throat> your paranormal <laughs> um, knowledge, uh, you would gather that these children 
are wanting to be maybe put to rest? At least their bones, maybe? Uh, so yes, you would take their bones. Or dare, I think we have to bury them. Yes, or, or cremate the remains. Yeah, I've heard that cremation can put a body to rest. And, and I think we should take a look at that sword we found at the beginning, and maybe... We've had previous cases where a certain heirloom is needed to to banish the creature that, that lies within. Now, um, are we taking a short rest in this room? I was going to say, yes. Um, you guys can all um, roll your hit dice for a short rest. Well. And recover whatever other things you can recover from short rest. <clears throat> I Sweet. have perfect health you need that. Yes. Do I get my spell slot back? I believe so, from a sh short rest. Uh, wait, uh, what are you playing again? A wizard? Sorcerer. Or a sorcerer? Uh, yes, I believe you do get your, sh your spell slots back. I only casted one spell, so. Yay. Or is that I thought it was warlocks that I get I think that's actually warlock. Oh. Yeah, yeah, warlock. So, sure, yeah, actually, no, you don't. You don't get it back. Feels bad, man. Did we level up? <laughs> I know you feel bad. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, man. All right, moving on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah Arcane Recovery is certainly <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, take your short rest. The children just kind of sit amongst you and enjoy your company. If you do try to go to their uh, their their toy box, they will inform you to not touch their toys. Um, <clears throat> but uh, mm. what do you guys do? Oh, we should gather up these bones and burn them, maybe? By the way, I said, do we level up? Because I knew it would trigger George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it has. Yes. <laughs> uh, like I said, the bones is your problem. I've got some... Uh... Some stuff I could use to burn them if that'll work. Yes, let's let's bring them to a fireplace. I'm sure we've passed yeah. many. We will not touch your toys, children. There's a fireplace <laughs> downstairs. All right. So, well, I, I want to go back and get that sword as well. It could be. Well, you're the paranormal investigator. Shouldn't you grab the bones? Yes, I'll take them and I'll throw them in my little rucksack. Too many bones. Okay. So you guys take the bones with you, uh, and you put them in your bag. Uh, they manage to fit because uh, they are children's bones. Um, and where do you guys head? Do you head back downstairs, or are you going to go to the room with the, the, the secret door to the basement? Uh, I think we're going to head back. Look was for there a, a fireplace on one yeah. of the rooms? That's um, a fireplace. There was. There's actually in this spare room like a little furnace. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, in the spare bedroom. Uh, a small iron stove. I'll say it's like a furnace. Mm. All right. So, and then uh, after I take the, the remains out and they start burning them, I'd head downstairs and grab that sword that we saw at the very beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna light up a light up a torch and throw it in there with the bones. Um. As you do that, you throw. So, um, Marshall, you go downstairs and you do manage to grab the sword, the long sword. Um, so you can add a long sword. It's just a standard one to your inventory. Copy <clears throat> that. Uh, it does have uh, a windmill cameo worked on the hilt. And uh, you head back upstairs. Uh, Zandaka, you throw these bones into the furnace. And as you do... You hear the no, screams no, you're to say that, no. and cries of these children in your head. Good. Screams of pain and agony and starvation. You hear. Are we 
we're supposed to hear anything? Maybe not. Uh, and as you do, <laughs> <laughs> you hear nothing. <laughs> you look, and the bones aren't burning. Oh. Uh, Order and uh, Mr. Law, uh, it's not working. I don't know what I did wrong. Don't touch your toys. We shall have to bury them outside, I fear. And perhaps, Let us collect. Uh, perhaps their souls may not rest until this monster they speak of is taken care of. Maybe. I would still feel better if we could lay their bones to rest at first and return to take care of the monster. Downstairs seemed quiet enough. I'm sure we can... As nice as it would be to bring them to Nirvana, I'd rather be on our way. It seems pretty insidious. Yes, we could. Uh, or dare, we could do it on our way out after we take care of this beast they keep talking about. I defer to your better judgment, partner, as always. Right, I say they, they could be useful, uh, these little... Well, let's take the bones Children. with us and see if we can bury them once we get out of here. I think that's a plan. All right, can y'all take us to the uh, hidden passage? Yes. Follow us. And they lead you oh, yeah. in... Lead the way. They lead you uh, into... Um, I believe... Which room is it? Uh, they be read you uh, into this room with the uh, the furniture. Um, <clears throat> and that room um, is a dusty chamber packed with old furniture, chairs, coats, racks, standing mirrors, dress mannequins, and the like, uh, all draped in dusty white sheets. Uh, and there's another iron stove in here. Um, and uh, you guys... Uh, the, the ghosts lead you over to this part of the um, door, or part of the wall that moves in, and you all step through uh, to a very small um, stair, uh, spiral staircase that le uh, leads down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, who would like to go first? I will go first. I'll go okay. first. I'll or follow. Dare. Or dare. Okay, this is a big map, so it may take a second to load. Oh. You guys. Hello. We're in it uh, now. You guys head down a spiral staircase made of creaky wood. Uh, it's five foot wide, so you kind of go one by one by one down the staircase, uh, descending 50 feet down. So it's quite a, a ways down. You're going down these stairs, and they creak. The wood floor, just every step down is... As you continue to walk down the stairs into this lower level, <clears throat> thick cobwebs fill the shaft and re reduce visibility in the staircase to only five feet. And you guys make it all the way down into these catacomb-like Oh, oh. I like it. Well, you guys are mini. I'll oh, you're so little. It's so small. It's so <laughs> dainty. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, of course I am the biggest one here. Um, because this is a bigger map, I think I have to... You're all so small. Adjust everybody's size here. And... Oh, God. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, am I... So I'm not seeing the same map as... Uh, oh, there. Oh, it's yeah, it's massive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just saw the house. <laughs> I can't get to the right spot. Uh, yes, let oh, me... Oh, there we go. I just scroll. There we go. So, or there. Okay. You have control. I got it, I got it. Uh, controlled by Viola. Control Zendok. And this is the last time I'll have to do this, because this is the last map. Uh, and... Get it. The last uh, map. 
Yes, this the is last really massive map. Uh, yeah, there are more <laughs> maps, but we're not going to make it to them, is, is I think what she's saying. Because we're going to die. <laughs> Okay, so uh, with that, let's take a quick yeah. break. Uh, for anybody who needs to grab a snack, go to the bathroom, grab a drink. Uh, let's take a break as they have made it to the dungeon level of Death House. Uh, where we die. The <laughs> with the children's bones. Help. Why? Please, please help. Hold on. I'll, now I almost called you Oliver. You, you need to say what you wrote in chat. You need to. You have to say that. Let them know you are. I'm not local. saying that. That's why Let's it's in what? chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when, we, when we collected the bones, I said, "Who's got the wishbone?" <laughs> That's funny. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Right, bathroom break. BRB, everybody. <laughs>
food in the pantry. So. There's good food in the pantry. Like <laughs> well, it's I was bland, telling you before. But it's fine. Um, all right. Hi, everybody. We're back. We are back for part two. Uh, the group has made it to the catacombs. Can I adjust? Oh, no. Hold on. Fan of that. As you make your way down the spiral wooden staircase, you hear an eerie, incessant chant echoing throughout. It's impossible to gauge what, where the sound is coming from or what exactly they're saying, but you hear something. And as you come down the stairs, or dare, you see what looks like catacombs all around you. Or crypts. Hmm. I don't like this, let it be known. Yeah, I don't like this sense place of... either. Can I get a, uh, can I like get a, do I get, see, get a sense of any signs of monsters, like claw marks, anything around? <sighs> Roll me an investigation check. <laughs> Oof. Crit fail. That's a three total. Oof. Um, you can't, you don't really see much. Um, you see hallways leading down and up and all around but you can't really see anything else no signs of anything else well no signs of monsters here we should press on okay where would you guys like to go well, how dare we usually always go to the right to start uh oh that's smart yes door number two just stick to the right that's that's our usual method and work our way around counterclockwise We learned that in the City Watch. That's oh, true. you were in the City Watch. A long time ago. What happened? Story for another day. Mm. Wise words. <laughs> okay. So you had right. Um, are you guys are able to move your tokens, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Very good. Um, uh, which, uh, what parts would you like to investigate? Let me know. <clears throat> Do this door. That one? I can use the arrow keys! Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually, I didn't know that either. So, oh, why did we go in the- No! <laughs> <laughs> so upon opening this, it is, sure enough, uh, a crypt. And as you're looking, uh, at these two crypts below you, a s they're etched with the name Rosavala Durst and the one below, Thornbolt Durst. And as yeah. you walk up, the ghosts appear of the two children, Rose and Thorn. I think we found your resting places. This is it. So, it's time to go to bed. Is this uh, where we put the bones? Astute These... analysis, my friend. Oh, I'm just lucky. <laughs> but where is this monster? Well, put let's put the kids to rest, uh, and I'll hand or dare Thorn's remains, and I'll and for him to put away, and I'll put away uh, Rose's remains. Thank you. Now we can finally rest peacefully. <sighs> the little boy, for the first time speaks up also says thank you and the two of, course, of them little ones. the two of them the bones there they disappear into the air and you successfully lay to rest rose or rosavala and thorn or thornbolt durst into their coffins that feels nice Right, are we done here? Where would you like to go You next? seem anxious. You're pacing. 
<laughs> is this a your first of time here. in a scary lots house before? I am not scared. I'm more... You look kind of scared. It's okay to be scared, Viola. Well, we all get scared fact, sometimes. I shall lead our way, our way out, because there were clearly was no monster here. We just simply had to put children to sleep. Uh... Hmm. I think there's more... For us to explore. Again, if if you wish to leave, but we were hired for a job. And, by uh, dead did you get our cards, by the way? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, here you go, just in case you didn't. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Uh. <laughs> Maybe we should, uh, before we go, we should help them with their job. I'm beginning to wonder if there really is a monster here. Well... It is a creepy dungeon, after all. Well, if there is no monster, then there's no harm in checking around. It's like a catch-22. But Perhaps I won't you steal. Could learn a thing or two from us. Ha! Huh. More like you could learn from me. How old are you? I would be, I was I would be glad to. At Black Wands. I think you're both very smart people. Thank you. I think there's a lot we could learn from from all of each other. All right, well, let's quit yabbering on. Left or right? Let's go right. Let's, is there anything down here? Uh, yes. So as you walk out here, um, you see a room. And it looks like it kind of goes out this way, like that. And in this room, room. <clears throat> Charming. You, uh, it's, uh, you see a plain wooden table flanked by long benches. Moldy humanoid bones lie strewn on the dirt floor. And Charming. you see a few alcoves. You see an, uh, you see an alcove here, uh, to the right here. And then you see some hallways here and here. Hmm. This place seems more like a harbinger. Should we keep going to the right? Well, it's what we always do. We haven't gotten killed yet. Well, you only die once. Whoa. <laughs> I shift. Sorry, I accidentally moved the map. <laughs> <laughs> the earth shakes. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, you're back where you were. <laughs> okay, so this way. You guys continue um, down a small set of stairs, um, and then there's a goes hallway. Down further. Hallway this way, or stairs that do go down further. Uh, I guess we keep going to the right. You that said that amazed. was the best way, right? Yes. Or there. Are you keeping track of this? You know me with the maps. Um. Always keeping track. All right. You're a steel trap. Shall Strong. we uh, split up again? No. What is I it? Don't think I don't want to split up a lot lately. I don't think that is a wise decision at this time. I thought you said you were smart. Well, I agree with you that perhaps there's nothing here and it'd be wise to cover ground quickly. Let's just head down this way and scope it out some more. I don't want to split off just yet. Okay. So, walking down into this big room here, um, you see uh, a four-foot diameter well shaft with a three-foot high stone lift, um, a wooden bucket uh, with a rope and pulley mechanism, and uh, you see what looks like, uh, I'll go ahead and reveal it, like different small bedrooms here. Small bedrooms. Mm, How many maybe. people lived here? I'm gonna check the rooms. Is there anything in them? Stop um, stealing. <laughs> roll me an investigation check. <laughs> That's a unnatural one. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you you owe the house money. Really find much. As a, there there's some chests, but uh, you you find a pouch and you pick it up and looking at the pouch, you realize it's made of human skin. Ah, drop it immediately. Okay. There's nothing to see in here. I say, uh, anybody see, else want to look when around? You try to finagle your way into things that you should not be doing. Yes, I'll, you I'll look around. Uh, okay, from the investigation. It's strange. Who would, who would put bedrooms in in a crypt? Who would sleep down here? Maybe a vampire. Hope not. It's not bad. Fifteen. Okay. You find, um, I think so. You find a room. One of these rooms has a silvered short sword uh, in it, which um, is useful. Uh, and then you find uh, another chest that has three moss agates, which are like little gemstones folded in a black uh, piece of cloth. Hmm. Don't do anything well, otherwise. Silver is known to be useful against certain types of paranormal creatures, is it not? Of course. You would know that from our numerous missions previously. Yes, of course I know that. That was a rhetorical question. Uh, in fact, it's kind of strange that I wouldn't have silver on me already, but... <laughs> yes, I left my silver sword in my other jacket. Are you sure your guys are professionals? I mean, that's what your card Nobody says, said but... we need silver swords for this job. 15 years on the job. Yes, we're professionals. Uh, yes. I mean, you can do a thing for a long time and still be pretty bad at it. Not if you study hard enough. That's <laughs> true. I, uh... I won't take that as the insult that it sounds to be. I, I like to see the best in people. Uh, I want to lower the bucket in the well until it hits whatever water or liquid is in there and then pull it back up. Okay. Um, it puts the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. It's the hose again. You uh, do descend the bucket down and it does hit uh, water at the bottom of the cistern about 30 feet down. Um, and you are able to pull up some water from this. Anybody thirsty? <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, I guess we're moving on then. This is, uh, a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I don't really want, uh, crypt well water. So, uh... <laughs> well, you're not... Thirsty uh, after your meal? Not for that kind of water. Tracy, this short sword is just a normal short sword, if I'm putting it into my equipment? Mm. Uh, it's a silvered one. So I guess, yes, technically uh, it's a normal short sword, but I don't know if there's an option to have silvered, or if you just want to make a, a note of it. There's yeah, something called a it. moon touch short sword, but I don't know if that's the same thing or not. So it's not uh, a plus one, just a normal short sword. Just a normal then... short sword uh, that's silvered. I don't see any silver. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, just make I, note. I guess, yeah, it well, would well, just I be... I can customize it. Yeah. yeah. So it's silvered now. I don't know how that affects um, things mechanically, but I've got okay. it. All right. Okay. okay. Should we keep exploring? Yes, yep. I think we should push on. Let's stay to this side. Okay, so you head up those stairs there, and you end up... Oh, it's not... Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, you end up in a room here with more beds. Um... <clears throat> So this room uh, has a wooden table um, 
with four chairs and uh, four alcoves containing moldy straw pallets. But nothing else. I don't like this room very much. It does give off a creepy vibe. Is there anything to the left on top of the stairs, Tracy, behind where we just came up over here? Uh, nope, nothing there. Okay. Uh, the stairs lead back up, and it looks like you guys kind of went in a circle. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, so you guys are back in the crypt area. Perfect. See, and this is why you always go to the right. Make sure you map out the whole place. Is that why? There's always a method to the madness. Um, in there, uh, you walk into that room and there are two empty, uh, empty crypts. Uh, yep, they're just empty. The one on the bottom has an etching of the name Walter Durst, but it's empty. Curious. Does anyone know anything about a Walter Durst? Perhaps it could be their parents. Where are they? They did say their parents were back home uh, when they had trapped a monster. Yeah. And uh, same last name, so probably them. They did say the parents hadn't returned, right? They they were waiting for their parents. Perhaps their parents haven't gone to the afterlife like they had. Well, Well, they would seem to be quite negligent parents if they did just leave and left their children to starve here. Yes, they don't know what they had. Great, great kids. I hope that's not the case. It's terrible to say, but I I hope something awful happened to them when they left and that they didn't purposefully leave. No parents would leave without a good reason, I'm sure. So we tell ourselves. That's that's right, buddy. And I pat. (laughs) Sendaka on the back. <laughs> They'll be uh, sometime. All right, let's let's check out the rest of this crypt. Okay, well, we've mm. checked these rooms. In there, you see um, a, a stone slab etched with the name Gustav Durst, and then you see another one, the one below, with the name Elizabeth Durst. Then who are these? Uh. Maybe these are the parents. Uh, How many I don't know. Parents did they have? <laughs> don't know. Maybe they're cousins or uncle Aren't you and aunt, maybe detectives or something. Well, yes, but we don't quite have all the information now, do we? Maybe you should look inside. Maybe not. What do you think, Ordere? As a paladin, is it okay to look in a crypt? I think knowing that there's been some supernatural and paranormal trickery going on, that uh, we should explore all options here and discover what is afoot. That is what we were hired to do. I like it. This is a full-fledged investigation from this point. So let's take a look and I'll open the coffin. As you open the coffin, That's not good. I hate it. A swarm swarm (laughs) of centipedes comes at you, um, and it starts crawling out of the coffin all around you and attacks. Uh, Everybody roll initiative. Centipedes. Why did it have to be centipedes? (laughs) I rolled that on purpose. I would <laughs> give you an advantage. Oh wait, I accidentally rolled twice. Oh shit! So I guess the first one is uh, an A. An A. I accidentally rolled twice. My bad. Yeah, that's bad, man. Better than uh, three. Nineteen for me. So uh, nineteen uh, for Ordare. Uh, what was 
Zandaka? Eight. Okay. Uh, and uh, Marshall? Seventeen. And uh, Viola? Four. Oh my gosh, your initiative rolls are so low. I'm doing it on purpose. Okay, so the insects get a uh, surprise round attack. Ugh, bring it on. They will uh, crawl up your legs, Marshall, and bite you. Jeez. Can you stop trying to kill us? Um. Okay, uh, does a 16 hit you? That is correct. This is... <laughs> Did they deal 20 damage? Uh, one target hit 10... 10 d4 piercing. So, uh... Okay, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, it's the one on the left. So they hit you for 12 piercing damage. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> Weakness! And I die. <laughs> oh my god! It oh, had to no. be centipedes. So wait. <laughs> Hit. Uh, so 10 D4. 10, 4. To, oh, so 4 D4. So that's. Why did it. Or dare. They rolled 10 D4, not 40. It looks like 10 D4. Yeah, it does look like 10 D4. I think. I, I'm actually. I'm gonna just roll the 4 D4 here. Okay, so it does 11. 11 piercing damage to you. Almost what? dead. <laughs> Almost dead? You're at 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it rolled for both of its attacks, which is not what it's supposed to do. So, you're... All right. So, uh, all right. You, uh, yeah, so they bite you for 11. Um, and with that, um, it is now, uh, Ordera's turn. You there? Muted. Oh, muted I think. oh, you're muted. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I will pull out that Morning Star, swing it around my head as I always do, and conk him. Okay, conk him. Go ahead and roll. Does a twenty hit? That does hit. And uh, that's six, six piercing damage. Six piercing. So, um, you do hit the swarm, but because it is so many little tiny insects crawling, um, you're not able to hit with the full damage that you swung with. You're only able to squash a few of them. Um, but it does hit. And, uh, with that, it is Marshall's turn. Uh, as they're trying to wriggle up into my clothes and they're biting me and, and I'm trying to shake them off, I'll, uh, pull out my, my short sword and dagger and start slashing at them to try to get them off me. Okay. Um, hold a hit. Twenty-three and a fifteen. Uh those both hit. Cool, cool, cool. The short sword. Uh three and five damage. That and that. Okay. So same for you, uh, Marshall. You're trying to hit uh, hit these insects, but you're not doing the full damage of, of your of your swords. You're only squashing a few at a time. Um, and uh, that is uh, the insects' turn again. Um, oh, no. Again? Get them off yes. me. Yes. Uh, they surprise. will try to bite you again. Um, Marshall. Miss, miss, miss. Uh, seven? I am safe for this Okay. Turn. They do not successfully pierce uh, and break uh, your skin as they're trying to bite you. It just isn't quite going through. Um, and then, uh, Zandaka. I guess I'll also just take out my and try to slash at these insects and uh, then like 
punch them with my uh, offhand as well. Okay. So... Does 18 hit? That does hit. Alright. I don't know why it didn't roll damage, though. Um, there we go. 10 damage, piercing. Okay. And then offhand... Uh, 14. Jesus. Uh, that also hits. 7 damage, but 14 uh, hit. Uh, 7 okay. bludgeoning damage. Strike them. Okay. So, um, yeah, you're striking them and, and, and crushing as many of these, uh, insects, these centipedes as you can. Um, same thing, like, not fully killing as many as you would with the force that you're hitting at. Um, and with that, it is Viola's turn. I can help you. Let's see. Yes, special person, help us. Oh, no. <laughs> it was on a 19 and then rolled back. Feels bad Regardless, now. I imagine she's like, I will cast fire bolts. And she like starts this fire and then it just fizzles away. And she's like, next round. <laughs> it was a nice try, Viola. No, uh... no. I'm charging up. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. It's a very powerful spell. You wouldn't understand. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody roll an inside check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, with that, it is uh, Ordera's turn. Okay. I'm going for another swing. And are they still all over my partner here? They're are we, all like, over attacking your... them? They are, they're, they're slowly crawling toward you, um, but most of them, uh, actually, Marshall took out a good amount on him, um, so there's just a bunch kind of on the floor in front of him. Okay, good. I don't want to have to swing at my partner. <laughs> um, Watch your swing. <laughs> let's go for another attack. That would be an 18. That hits. And the damage was seven piercing. Okay. All right. Um, it looks like there's just a few left, like literally maybe two or three. Um, and uh, Marshall, it's your turn. You almost right. got them all. And I'm trying to like really stab the last few that are left. So I'm like lunging down with my <laughs> short sword and dagger, like just die. Uh, yeah, yeah. Roll the hit. That. Hold a hit on that. Okay, the short sword Fifteen. does hit. Alright. And Six damage. with that, you do manage to take out the last ones. You see Marshall like on the ground with his dagger just like or sword slashing into the ground, like die, 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 and they're all gone. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, what I, I that's how I take out spiders. Control. Interesting tactic. Uh, what did you I learn that? Shouldn't have opened that coffin. Is there, is there at oh. least anything in here? And I'll peer in and see if there's anything in there. Whoa, um, I thought you said we weren't robbers. Yes, We're investigators. Yes. We're okay. not taking anything, Zendaka. Unless uh, it's evidence. It is empty. Both of them are empty. <laughs> Son of a gun. Both of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> feel uh, <clears throat> a little ragged here. Would you, would you mind trying to heal me up, <clears throat> partner? Oh, I, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I used up all of my healing on our new uh, friend here. I'm sorry, Unless we want to rest know. for the night. Yeah, now let's push onward. I can soldier on. I'll just. Stay near the back. There are plenty of beds in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh. Just kidding. Forgive my, my gallows humor. I know. You like to to battle things with humor. It's fine. <sighs> well, Where to next? It seems Well, we so. should continue on, I think based on my calculations. Yeah. Let's keep going down. Okay. 
Uh, Marshall, are you leading the way or somebody else? Why don't you take the lead over there? You up for the challenge? Always, partner. I know you've got my back. Of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, down this way? Yep. There's a few different hallways here, so you can choose which way you want to go. Well... Always right. Oh wait, no, that's just gonna, that's just gonna circle back around, isn't it? Yeah. Is that, uh, is that going uh, anywhere, or is that just the end of the hall? No, <gasps> Look. there are stairs that lead down There's that stairs. Way. Well, well, always oh, right. Oh, God, it goes further down. Further well, down, indeed. That looks scary. I guess we should go down there, because it looks so scary. Should we perhaps try and finish up this floor, though, uh, before we... Well, we say always right until it goes down, and we still need to finish the floor, so I think we should finish the floor. Yeah, that is how that is how they trained us in the watch, uh, I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where were you trained? I'd love yeah. to hear more. <clears throat> Tribor, that's where we're from. Tribor, huh? Hmm. Yes, it's a nice, a nice city. Not as nice as some other places, but small but no big. Baldur's big, Gate, small. I'm sure. So, right. So we're gonna go this way, I guess. Yeah. Um. So as you guys proceed down that hallway, the chanting begins to sound louder and louder. There's been chanting? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> or the whispers and chanting. Here, I'll turn it up for you guys. Oh, no, I don't need that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the chat's like, where does right always come from? Someone I played this 17 years ago is saying that. <laughs> I assure you I made that up for just now. <laughs> Oh, it I thought is you were maze the, navigation people about... technique, though. Yeah. No, yeah, that's people say were... mazes I think always always do the left, isn't it? Always, always left. And follow the left is. wall. Yeah. That's why I yeah. just flipped it and oh. did right. <laughs> to not make sense. It's the same thing, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah theoretically. Was it Wolfenstein, though? I feel like that's. Isn't that like a maze? Oh, game? maybe. I don't know. So we go right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I do hear. Oh, chances. son of a. What are the stars? Oh, boy. Captain America shields. Always right does not seem right right now. Um, as you enter this room, the room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the walls. And, uh, let's turn the light down a little bit. What? Uh, a wide, what a wide. Um. Roll a perception check. Can I roll an arcana check? You can also roll an arcana check. Disadvantage. <laughs> That's an 18 on perception. Okay. Hold on, wait. My perception oh. is very wait. bad. Wait. Perfect. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, you're really rolling bad tonight. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you so have to <laughs> roll a four. You have no idea. Oh wait. You rolled a four minus. It says fourteen. Yeah, yes. I rolled it at disadvantage. Oh. Oh, uh, rip. Oh, I see. <laughs> Viola, you have no idea. Um, Marshall, you actually can't really make out either what it what it says. It just sounds like multiple voices chanting. And uh, I meant to mention this earlier, but <clears throat> the stairs that you guys were at, it sounded much more prominent toward those uh, stairs that led down. Um, Sounds like they're speaking drow, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not infernal, right? <laughs> no, it is not. Or um, celestial? No. <laughs> I do know Abyssal, but that's just because I randomly selected it. I don't know if that's actually a thing I know. <laughs> but there's nothing in here? A wide alcove yeah. in the south wall contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a voluminous black coat, his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. The room has uh, exits to the west and north walls. The chanting can be heard coming from the west. Maybe we should go back down to the stairs. 
what is with the this chanting place sounded moves? like it was coming from down there. Uh, does anybody know what this orb is? Looks like it's to uh, cast out uh, evil. Well, that would be useful if it's true. Hmm. Uh, I could detect evil and good, but something tells me that that's an unnecessary endeavor. I think evil is is with us, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, Viola, Viola, what is it again? Viola. Viola, you see. Viola the Great. Yes, v- Viola, yeah, the, yeah. Viola the um, Great. Viola is what I'll call you. Uh, <laughs> could, could you take a look at this? You seem to be the most arcane of our group. Hmm. What should I roll, Tracy? <laughs> roll me an arcana check. Okay, it's gonna be a disadvantage. Oh, but it was so good. Oh, I rolled a 17 on the next one, so... Nice. Either, yeah, 20. This is what the statue looks like. And, um... The the crystal orb looks like it could be magical. Um, uh, actually, no, it doesn't look like it's magical. Sorry. It looks like it could be used as an arcane focus for a wizard, perhaps. But uh, it doesn't look magical. Hmm. Seems to be an arcane focus for a wizard. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what that means, but it sounds special. Yes, I... Hmm. Well, I guess there's nothing useful in here, then. Can... (laughs) Can I take it? (laughs) (laughs) Nothing useful in here. I'm going to take it. (laughs) Are you sure you want to do that? Would anyone okay, stop me if I go to re- reach for it? I would. No. I, I was actually going to say this. Um, I, I think mm. in this case, uh, Viola, uh, perhaps a magical a magical item like this should not be disturbed. It's one thing to investigate. It's another thing to touch something. Fair like enough. I am, not above, I am not below myself and would steal. So I'd like to point out we're surrounded by bodies which could potentially be reanimated if you did uh, you, take Yes, it. you have passed the detective test. I was testing you. Yes. Yes, this is just like the case of the haunted tool shed. Remember yes. when we picked up that backhoe and it's all those true. skeletons oh, rose yes. out of the ground? All hell set loose. Uh-huh. So don't pick up backhoes and the magical orbs, we always say. That is, they, they taught us that in the watch as well. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Um, sorry. Uh, let me pull. So is there a door also, to the bottom? Yeah, I was okay. gonna say, yeah there's a like door it. down here. Uh, if you want to enter that room. Uh, that is, one moment. Let me make sure this is the right. Uh, in this room, um, it just looks, there's a, uh, chandelier suspended above a table in the middle of the room. Oh, no. Um, (laughs) there is this, there's another hallway that looks like it goes to another bedroom. And then there's a hallway up this way. Check out this back room. Is there anything of note in that bedroom? Um, as you walk into that room. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The room contains a large wood-framed bed with rotted feather mattress a wardrobe containing several old robes, a pair of iron candlesticks, and an open crate containing 30 torches and a leather sack with 15 candles inside of it. 
At the foot of the bed is an unlocked wooden footlocker. And as you walk in, a figure appears. Two figures appear. Son of a... They look like this. Uh, oh, the... shit. <laughs> and uh, roll initiative. No. Uh, I was I would just nope out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, excellent. Oh, yes. All on purpose. There is a plan to this. All according to plan. All according to plan. Please do not think otherwise. Your brain could not handle the plan that I am scheming here. Okay. Um so listen. I'll have you know I'm moving up in the initiative though. I started at three. Now I did four before that, and now I'm a five. So soon we'll have six. Marshall is a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, Zendaka is a 10. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, Viola is a, yeah, a 5. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm a 12. And, you think, George? You think this is going to get bloody? And Ordair is a 12. <laughs> As I walked Long into rest. the room with one health. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah. walked in first. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was like, it's a normal little room in the corner. I bet there's some good stuff in here. <laughs> Roll initiative. You see... We should uh, maybe rest if we survive. Two yeah. ghastly forms appear before you. The visage of a man and woman. The same man and woman that you saw in the portrait in the house. Um, Elizabeth and Gustave Durst. Ooh. Oh, and, we found the parents. Um... Gustave, or sorry, Elizabeth. Uh, what well, actually? So what? What's your dexterity, Marshall? Because you both rolled a fifteen. My dexterity is uh, eleven. Okay, so she goes first. She is going to strike at you, Gustave or Elizabeth. Oh goodness. Um. Very aggressive they, down here. You, it's called the Death House. You make it down here. You will die. Very welcoming. And that's not very nice. We're guests. She's going to bite. <laughs> For a sixteen. at twenty. All right. Let's go ahead and die. Tw Twelve piercing damage. <laughs> As you watch Let's your just friend go ahead and die, Marshall. Fall I walk in and just get struck down. <laughs> Marshall, no. Gassed. Why did it have to be gassed? <laughs> and um, uh, that was gonna be your turn, Marshall. So roll a death save. Oh yes, I'm glad I could do that real quick. Gonna uh, be a success. <laughs> Oh. Did it roll through here? Oh, hey, it's, it's a twice. success. Oh, success. they're both successes. Only count the first one. Yep. <laughs> All right, and with that, it is Gustav's turn. No. Gustav uh, makes his way. Um, I'm actually going to throw that. No, not that here. Doesn't represent them. Oh, by the way, I yell out, PARTNER! No! <laughs> no! As I lay there, I'm reaching out toward you, like... Ugh. He, uh, the ghast moves over his dead body and strikes at you, Zandaka. Uh, uh, yeah, he will hit you with a claw attack. Hey, 12 misses. Uh, Wait, yep, or, or eight. eight or eight misses. Yeah, eight misses. Yay. Woo! Um, and roll me a constitution saving throw, actually. 
Even though he missed me? Oh no. Uh, yes. Yes, even though uh -oh. he missed. That's a sick. Oh. So, so as Gustav, this ghastly corpse, he's he walks towards you, his arms like moving so unnaturally, his flesh decaying. The stench of this flesh is so potent. You can't even as you inhale, it's just it 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 eats at you and you are poisoned from the stench. Um, mm. So do, constitution saving throw will be poisoned until the start of uh, the next turn. Um, and yeah, so you are poisoned, which you have disadvantage on attack rolls <laughs> and ability checks <laughs> from All your right. poison. Uh, from the stench. Just updated it. All okay. right. And with that, uh, next up is Ordare. Okay. I'm going to take out my new silvered sword and say, uh, How dare you? How dare you neglect your children like that? And how dare you kill my partner? And I attack. Okay. I realize, uh, Ordeir, you're kind of in the wall there. Um, I will assume you're next to Zandaka. Yes, and does an 11 hit? That uh, misses. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that misses. Does 11 hit? Please. Any other attacks, or is that the old? Yeah, that's the only one you have, right? Yeah. That's all I got. Uh, all right, Zandaka, your turn. Uh, I am going to shapeshift again into my true form and uh, run up and attack Gustav. Okay. You can't kill my friends like that. Uh, and... <laughs> We're all going to die. It's called the Death House. <laughs> Does a 13 hit? That just hits, yeah. All right, so 12 piercing, and that's my turn. Uh... Okay, so 12 piercing to stop. All right, uh, Viola. All right, let's have my professionalism. I rolled a 12. Does that hit? That misses. I'm charging up. <laughs> <laughs> Viola has been charging not... up since last fight. <laughs> it's going to be huge, this spell I cast. You can't even fathom. A great, big, beautiful spell. It's going to be the largest spell you've ever seen. Um, next, and next time. Elizabeth will also move over and attack you, or dare. Uh, um, she is uh, going to right shield up. She's going to hit you with the claw attack. Uh, oh eight, no! Eighteen. Oh, that just hits. Okay, so you take seven slashing damage and roll me two constitution saving throws. First one was 14. Okay, that, that passes. Second one was a crit one, five. Oh no! So the same thing happens to you that happens to Zendaka. You <laughs> inhale the stench from this, this corpse of Elizabeth Durst and you are poisoned. Okay. Does that do any extra damage? Uh, nope. You just have disadvantage on attack and ability checks. Oh, um, boy. Okay. So with that, um, <clears throat> we have uh, Marshall roll oh. a death save. Oh yeah. No problem. I can't. I can't die on my partner. Twenty, please. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Two, pass, two Stay passes. Alive. Stay in the lab. Uh, Gustav is up. So I think that means, so any creature starts its turn with a until the start of its its next, oh, your next turn, you're, so you're still poisoned. Okay. Um, Gustav is going to swing again at you, Zendaka. Uh, Wait, so I should be, I should have been not poisoned during my turn, right? If it's until its next turn, right? Because I think I it's until your next turn. 
Right, but because I went after him, right? Or am I crazy? Right. So. Sorry, is he still poisoned? Uh, that's a good question, and I'm not sure. <laughs> um. So, must succeed in a DC 10 Constitution saving start. throw, and, and or be poisoned until the start of his next yeah, turn. Yeah, so I think it would. Yeah, start of its next turn. So I think I wouldn't be poisoned as soon as I. Yeah, because it's the start turn. of your next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. So. He... I will, um... All right. Twelve does not hit me. All right. So he tries to swing at you with his claws and misses. Um, but and I do turn... have to make another con save. Yep. Right? Uh, yes, you have to make another con save for the stench. <laughs> for that nice. stench. Nice. All right. So. On a successful saving throw, you are immune to the stench. You've you've smelt this before, and you are like, ah, this is fine. Uh, I can smells handle like it. Smells like my smells like my mother's pancakes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and with that, or dare. Oh, <laughs> yes. Your turn. We don't need damage yet. I did some. Damage you did some to, to Gustav, him. or okay. yeah, to Gustav, no. yeah. Am I rolling with disadvantage or the first? You attack? are rolling with disadvantage. Well, it's okay. until his next turn, right? So it doesn't Elizabeth. It go away at the beginning. It was a. It was Elizabeth. Oh, stitch. different. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to do the attack with the silver short sword again. You can do it. All okay. right. Ooh, so yeah, nice. there we go. That hits. Uh, That's for eight piercing damage. Uh, to Elizabeth, right? Yeah, she's right in front of you. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Uh, Zandaka, your turn. I uh, guess I'll attack uh, Gustav again. Okay. He'll pay for what he did to my friend. He'll pay. Uh, 11 misses, I assume. That misses, yes. All right, but I will, as a bonus action, use my offhand and try to hit him again. Okay. Does 13 hit him? That does hit. All right, five bludgeoning damage to him. All In right. the face. In the face. All right, um, and with that, Viola, charging hey, up your spell. It is time. I've been charging this whole time. Believe in you. Yay! Yay! Go ahead and roll. I'm going to cast my firebolt at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So one. Wait, why? Why disadvantage? Wait, wait. Why are you? Because my story tree. Oh, <laughs> right. So I rolled. Wait, so I rolled a, a one? No, a seven. Yeah, that's the lower one. We'll just uh, say the school she went to wasn't as prestigious as a. She went oh, to a bad wizard school. Making it out to be as the best school yeah. of all time. She went yeah. to community college. Yeah. <laughs> no, more like a Trump Academy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, cl a clown college. Yeah. <laughs> um, Black Wands was fantastic. So she charges up this. She's like, I've been charging this spell this whole time. And she sends out this fire blast. It's like, <laughs> wonderful. Seven. Um, and you attack my best yet. Gustav or Elizabeth? Uh, whoever's closest. Uh, Gustav. Thumb okay. Forts. Thumb forts. Nice. <laughs> All right. And with that, Elizabeth does go again. Um, and so you are, uh, you are no longer poisoned, um, or dare. Uh, and she will try to strike at you. God. Um, you, she strikes at you for nine slashing damage and no. roll me two constitution saves. Uh, do I do I need to if I'm down? Oh, you're down. Okay, no, you do not have to. <laughs> you smell oh, when you're no. dead. 
<laughs> We're too squishy. Here we are. Oh god. I go, I'm, um, I'm coming to see your partner. <laughs> we we die at their hands, reaching out toward each other. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and yeah, with that, either. Marshall, roll me a death save. Knowing my partner's best. down. Oh no! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Well, that's two fails. So you're at two and two. Oh no! Oh. Knowing that you died, my will was was weakened. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, so you have this two two passes goes. and two fails. So the next one will determine everything. Uh, <sighs> Gustav will attack you again, Zandaka. <laughs> And... Miss, please. <laughs> I don't want to die. That's... 21 oh does God. hit me. For 12, 12 slashing. slashing. All right. I'm still mm -hmm. alive for house. now. <laughs> wow. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> you dead You're not fooling anyone, old man. <laughs> yeah, George is happy right now. He's like, yes, <laughs> let uh, them suffer. No, no, You're... George is like, I don't wish harm on anyone. <laughs> They're just to make sure they're survivors. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just the dice. Roll me. Uh, you, are you still up? Sorry. Yeah, I'm still up. But aren't roll I uh, me... immune to the? To uh, the he's immune. Now, yeah. You're immune to the stench, but or not the stench. to the claw oh. attack. Roll me oh. a Constitution uh -oh. saving throw, DC ten. All right, All right well, I you pass. Well, thank you... the Lord. Yeah, you uh, get hit with the claw, and you feel like you stuck for a moment. Like you're, you can't move. You're frozen, but you break through that again with your keen mind. And um, with that, it is um, or dare. Uh, roll me a death save. You can do it, partner. We're talking to each other in the, in the middle ground between life and in death. The yes. life. In the, death in save. Purgatory. You can do it. Here we go. Oh, I believe in you. You're stronger than Ooh, I. Ooh, that's a 20. Let's Woo! go. I told All you. All right. Success Sweet, you're baby. up. No, that means you're up. Oh, and no, yeah, you're instant up. At you're one stable HP. at one, or you're up at one HP. Yeah. You, oh, really? Oh, I thought yeah. that was 20 on a, on, a on a death save. save. You come up. Yeah. Proud of you. Okay. I am. Oh. Uh, levels. <laughs> uh, Zandaka, your turn. Funeral's already paid for itself. Well, I guess I'm just gonna attack uh, Gustav again and hope we get the job done. Yeah. Strike him down. Does a 16 hit him? Yes, we're in business. Oh, that I didn't does roll hit. damage by mistake. That does hit. Ooh. Uh, eight piercing damage. Uh. Okay, one moment. Let me just check something uh, here. And then if he's still right. up, I'm going to attack him with he my off hand. Is, he is up, not looking good. All right. Go ahead and attack. I'm going to hit him with my fist. Finish him off with an arm strike. Ooh. Whoa. 20 hits, I assume, and six yes. poisoning damage. Um, nice. how, do you, how do you want to do this to Gustav? I'm just, just going to... Hit him with the left hand and knock his head right off. So you watch right as gah, the head and the long tongue just like flips back and the, the, the decaying flesh of stench just all falls backward. Uh, kind of uh, toppling on top of Marshall a bit. Um, oh, thank and, you. <laughs> and, that insult uh, to injury. <laughs> and uh, he is dead. Um, with, with just Elizabeth remaining. And Viola, it's your turn. Not a good time to lose one's head. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, does oh a no. Hit? Nope. <laughs> no, it does three not. hit. Are you no. sure? Oh, no. Wait, yes. attack rolls are cumulative, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, then I am there. charging up again. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> With that, Elizabeth will move toward you, Zendaka. 
Oh no. She will try to strike. You can survive. <gasps> the miss. Misses. Yes. With her claws, <laughs> she sees the her her her, her father, her husband, his <laughs> dead body, and writhing in anger after you strike his head off and tries to swipe at you, but in her rage she misses, and uh, call them Marshall. Okay. <laughs> Marshall, this is the moment of Ooh. truth. Roll your saving throw I to determine I if you leave. live or die. I can't leave my partner behind. There's no way. I had to pull through. Yeah! You survived! <laughs> you are st uh, stable, but unconscious. Or, yeah, you're stable. Uh, roll me a d4 to see how many hours until you wake up, wake up. Okie dokie. Uh, what is this? Slash roll. I think we'll be taking a long rest. D4. So we actually get through this. It says rolling the dice. A okay. three. So in three hours, you will be uh, up. Um, oh, I'm just going to take a nap. And We're with going to need that, to rest. Yeah. Or dare, roll me your death save. Oh, wait, no, you you don't. You're, you're, uh, you're up. You're up. I am up. So, yeah, you are up at one HP. George says, yeah, uh, okay. I'm talking about Are you talking, uh, Tracy? Uh, sorry. Okay. Well, uh, what are you doing, Ordair? Um, oh. Uh, no, I would like us to uh, hole up in this room. I don't want to oh, move my partner uh, too much. Eliz Elizabeth's still alive. Oh, oh, in yes. front of you. I thought yes. fighting yes. Elizabeth. Yes. <laughs> oh, whoops. 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 Whoopsie. All right. Uh, Mr. Investigator, go. please help. <laughs> My, oh wait. Did I roll? I rolled a disadvantage on accident. Um, am I still doing that or? Uh, oh, you I, uh, are I, not. No. Because Gustav is dead now. Okay, so it was a fifteen. Was the first roll. Uh, that hits. Okay. So eight, eight, eight piercing eight. damage. That was the silver sword. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, Zandaka. I guess I should attack her too. She doesn't seem very nice. Does an oh, eleven go. hit? That misses. Well, I guess offhand again, <laughs> using the fizz. Shoot him! Ah. Does a uh, twelve hit? That also misses. Oh, oh, oh! I'm not very good at this. <laughs> you just punched one of their heads off, and you're like, I'm not good at this. <laughs> it's okay. You're charging up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, a sorcerer told me that once. <laughs> uh, Viola. All right. Now is the time to show what I've been charging. Um, oh, no. my God. What's with your rolls? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Adam is here in spirit. Right? I know, Adam, right? Get a chat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> um... All right, Viola, continuing to charge Round up her two, spell. Up. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> be a big one. The biggest spell you've ever seen. Zendaka, you're beginning to wonder if this person actually is a spellcaster, as you've seen Maybe her cast she's one just spell. Pretending to, to uh, be a spellcaster. Uh, well, and cast once. with that, uh, Elizabeth goes again. Um, and she's going to try to strike at you, uh, Zandaka, for a That's 22. Rip. For eight damage. I go down. I, I go down now. I can handle oh, plus three, right. <laughs> All right, Zandaka is down. Uh, or Dare's still yeah, kicking so he can deal some damage. That. I've been really useful. Yeah, I rolled really bad too. I rolled a five and a six on my attack. I've yet to hit. <laughs> no, you hit for seven damage. <laughs> oh, you're right. Was that this round? Jeez. Yes. 
uh, and that then was Marshall, on Gustav. who is unconscious, uh, or Dare. Sleepy. Yes. Up. Your turn. Short sword to the face. 20. Sword. Nice. That hits for 10 and piercing. 10 damage. Ooh, 10 damage. Nice. Nice damage. She is not looking good after this. She writhes in pain after you hit her. Oh my gosh. But she's still kicking. <clears throat> Don't worry, you'll get to finish her off. Zendaka. <laughs> she she might take down both of us. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where do I. How do you do it? How, where do I click to roll death save? So second? go into your death save. It like, should. And then there's a little B in between. Yeah. Save and death. Oh no, it's not showing up for some reason for me. I'll just roll a d20. Weird. 11. That's All a right. success. Barely, barely passes. Good for uh, us. <laughs> um, All right. And uh, Viola, <laughs> roll to hit. All <sighs> right. You can do it. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, seven hit. Nope. That misses. George, see? I'm not even rolling that at disadvantage. You've not Wait, rolled so over what, a 10. I am. The what spell are you rolling for? Any. Just well, like don't you hit. get your spell attack modifier? It's plus five, right? Well, I was going to cast magic missile, but. Well, magic missile, you don't have to roll for. It just hits. Re Wait. Magic missile can't miss. Uh, that is true. Magic missile does not require. I did not know that. Unless. Then I would like to catch it. They have magic, magic shield or whatever. But she's rolling before every attack for a story reason. However, oh, magic missile. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, not to hit, but for the actual attack, yes. Uh, but I feel like I'm not going to more than a three, so we can go with that. <laughs> Okay, you do three force damage. Proud of you. <laughs> to, to Elizabeth. Big damage. <laughs> <laughs> After she... all that charging, she's like, uh -huh. Is it only one magic? Yeah. Or do you roll multiple that, ones? I I, uh, I forget. It, I, it just says one, I think. At level one, I think you roll yeah. one. Yeah. And, and it goes up every level slots. you put into it. Okay, so that is three force damage. Uh, okay. and she it's will. It's not dead. <laughs> she will. She's still kicking, though not looking good. Uh, um, she's gonna fly over to you, Viola, and try to strike you. Um, <clears throat> I'm the best miss. at dodging. Uh, sorry. Let me. Twenty-three. Oh, uh, oh my god! Ignore. Wait, it, everyone she's is rolling like a beast. Be three missiles. <laughs> For magic missile? Oh. Three missiles at level one. Okay. Oh, really? That, true? that probably is level. true because knowing magic missile. Um, is it three at level one? George is confirming. Three different people. Four different people said three at level one. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, it is three at level one. So do yeah. I hit okay. it three times? Roll. So you do it three times. Yep, it's an yeah. insta hit. So roll two more d4s. Okay, so one. I've been doing magic missile two. wrong on Jaden then. Wrong. Yeah. It should be two more than I've been doing every time. Uh, the next one was five. I don't know why I didn't think I'm through. Yeah, I bet you that George so, knew that too, yeah. and is just letting you do, <laughs> yeah, do it wrong. Well, like, he might did... not know what level of magic missile I've been casting. Well, like like item. he did at the with Tilgore last time, where I he told me, he, I found <gasps> he out that he, where he was he like, oh, do. I was like, oh wait, he has three attacks, and George was just letting me do one attack the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then I should have attacked two more times. Yep, the first time and I okay, well. How do you want yeah. to do this to Elizabeth? Woo! Oh, she's as the master that she is, she uh. throws her missiles and goes, mm -hmm. and of you, course. you watch of as course. she she shrieks and falls limp to the ground near Zendaka's body, who's also unconscious right now. Um, and the two of them, their ghastly dead bodies lay in front of you, and you are out of combat. 
um, disregarding shit. how many people were down in that whole battle and the, the, how many times she did not attack, she'll be like, I told you I was charging up. I told you I would take care of it. Mm. You did a great job, Viola. He Thanks. says without sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to say uh, that, then... <laughs> Well, just being clear, I feel like <laughs> the sarcasm would be implied with anybody else. But he is sincere. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, does anybody want to do anything about Zendaka's body? Is there anything we can do? Stabilize him. I mean, you could stabilize me. <laughs> How? Yeah, can we medicine check? Is that like yep, something that... Roll, uh, you can both roll medicine checks to see if you can stabilize him me as well yep or uh, unless you don't want to okay. uh, unless you for well, some reason don't want to try to help uh you well, don't have I to roll the 19. okay 11. or dare helping you uh are able to uh stabilize uh zendaka he is unconscious uh roll me a d4 zendaka whoops you will wake oh. up in four hours Oof. I guess we're camping for the night. So your two f companions are stable. You feel a pulse, but they are not waking up currently. Sleepy time. Long rest time. <laughs> DM, yes. do we level up from this great encounter? The second one we've had. Third. Third. No, actually. we have the long rest to level up. Yes, let's uh, let's bar the doors. Oh, we have to do a long Yola. rest because we're unconscious for three and four hours. Okay. Uh, so do you two do anything to prepare for your long rest or do you? Yes, yes. I want to bar the doors. Okay. I want to see if there's if there's anything that we can do. I want to wedge the doors shut if there's any, like, are there any metal? You could take the chairs. There are the chairs, or... the table. Uh, there's a big, uh, you can even take that big, uh, armoire there and, and put it in front of the door as well. Okay. Are those can like sh uh, candelabras in the room? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I want to see if I can like jam them under the door to as like a wedge. Okay. To really keep it shut. Roll me just a um I'm trying to think what I'd want you to roll for this. Uh maybe a just a strength check to see how well you're able to kind of bar these doors. Yeah, that's cool with me. I'm good at strength. Strong boy. Yes, I am. 21. Yeah, you are. 21, okay. Woo! You do successfully um, bar the door at the bottom, and uh, the top one you kind of just put stuff in front of, and it seems like this room is well barricaded if you wanted to take a rest. Yeah. Long okay. rest? Mm -hmm. Long rest? Yeah. Long rest? Long rest? Long rest? Yeah. Day. Okay. Uh, yes, you all may take a long rest and you all may level up. Woo! Yay! Woo! Yay! Yay! To level two. Good job. You all managed uh, to survive what a this far. generous DM. Wow. Well. Yes. Thy great and generous DM. <laughs> so generous. Do you guys rest in the bed of Elizabeth and Gustave Durst, the ghasts that you just killed? No. Uh, I don't know okay wherever they put my floor. corpse. Where did they put it? <laughs> or my, not my corpse, my body. <laughs> Do you just let your friends just sleep on the ground? It's important questions. I would sleep on the ground. <laughs> not in some dead man's bed. Oh, the audacity. If you of guys have not, adventurer um, packs, maybe. you may have bed rolls and things like that if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. We'll put we'll put the downed people in the bed, <laughs> and uh, rude. Well, that's a nicer place to sleep, isn't it? True. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys all take a long rest um, and level up. Um, okay. So my question is: It's ten thirty. And I'm trying to decide what to do here. I know Frank has to uh, stop yeah, at 11. To... Yeah. So I, there's not a ton left. You're almost to the end, sort of. But I also don't really want to rush the end because I feel like that's the most important part. Mm. 
Um, so if we want, we can stop here and continue tomorrow night. Um, yeah, that's my suggestion. What do you guys think? I say tomorrow night just because I had a really early morning today. So okay. I feel bad. I've been yawning. I'm good anytime tomorrow after like two o'clock. So I'm yeah, for tomorrow night. You want. Okay. Yeah. Y'all just want to say like six or what? Seven? Sure. Um. Yeah. Let's let's yeah do six six thirty same time maybe if we want. That should. Yeah, that should okay. Work. Okay. Good for cool. me. Cool. Well, you four managed to survive thus far. Um, I'm proud of you all. <laughs> uh, yes, there, there are, are things at play, and we shall see uh, what happens to the group tomorrow night. So everybody in chat, thanks for hanging out tonight. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to rush Death House, so I think it's fine for us to continue with part two tomorrow night. So same time, same place, if you guys are around. You should totally tune in because the end is the most thrilling part of all of this. <laughs> so, it's where we die. It's, is it it's more centipedes? I shall not say a word of what you will experience. So, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you guys, uh, I hope you guys had fun. This is fun. This is I haven't so been awesome. a puny weakling in such a long time. Yeah, I feel no. yes, so you guys out, level one. You guys have been spoiled hey. by my Guess what I get character. A... <laughs> at uh, at level two, I get cure wounds, guys. Yes, Woo! I also get zero cleric spell plots now. Yay! <laughs> I get cure wounds. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I get on my like, key points at level two finally. Nice. Yay! Yeah, I get one uh, more spell. So, one more spell that will do. Now really will be sure. unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> level two, unstoppable. Are we gonna raid someone? <laughs> um. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Let's raid somebody. Let's see who's streaming uh, D and D right now, or Captain if there's any. Rope is on. Oh, d we, oh my God! Yes, we. Sh place? Yes, Adam is uh, on that right now. We should absolutely. Is he? Oh, yes. yes, absolutely. We should absolutely raid Robert. Good idea, Yay. Vanessa. I'm so smart. It's because I went to the best school. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the best wizarding school ever. It's called Black Wands. Okay, it's uh, not to be confused with Black Stuff. Also, a very okay. No, story. no one was confused. <laughs> with Vajir, not Vajra, Vajir. <laughs> I know you're like the we, Black we Stuff. I was like, oh. And we went, oh, black definitely stuff. not Black Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, thanks everybody. Uh, we're about to raid uh, Captain Robert, who our other D and D companion, Adam, aka the Legit, is a player in this campaign. So you all should say shout out to the Legit uh, and say hi to him in uh, yeah. that channel because he's there live right now streaming. So we'll be back tomorrow, and everybody. And uh, yeah, he's awesome. So bye. So See good. you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right, rage. I think it worked. Yes, oh, it did. So, that would be such oh. a surprise too, with like 50 uh, people coming in. I know. Yay! Oh wait, uh, 40 viewers are ready to raid Captain Robert in one second. Raid now. Okay, <laughs> I've I've done it. I've raided. We did it. I think. We. Yes, it yep. worked. Okay, cool. I'm gonna end the stream now. <laughs>